but uh, I started, we did all the cutscenes before this map. I actually did most of this map, uh, but I ended up chatting with my boyfriend and I started talking about how much I hate dark and I stopped paying attention and so <laughs> here we are. That's fine. Uh, this map isn't super interesting anyway. It's just like a, a fog of war thing. Yeah, it's the it's why I wanted to skip this one on stream because there's a there's no unique. Well, there is one thing unique about the boss on this map, but there's not really much going on. Um, snake eyes, brothers. <laughs> <laughs> That's very funny. I keep Rolf here for the uh, reinforcements who show up. He's pretty underleveled, but it's fine. What are you guys up to? How you doing? Pop a gear. <laughs> did uh, did Mist and Mia get fixed? By the way. No. Oh. Maybe I can show that off if it gives me the chance. Oh boy, oh boy. Well, chat, how about you guys? How you doing? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> I, I might be a little less uh, energetic than normal because I'm doing okay, but I got my, uh, I got my shot, so I'm, Nine. my arm hurts a little. Ugh, I practiced. I had it. There we go. Oh, look at you. Do you, do you not have something else on you? Oh, that's weird. I thought I figured out the problem because I figured out how I was, there we go. I'm better at it now. No, nope, just a physics staff, huh? Okay. Maybe it's the other two guys who have something interesting on them. That Someone in model's head is too small. Someone in chat was just like, "Oh no, I missed the uh, Black Knight reveal," and I was like, "Oh, you mean where?" <laughs> right, I just goes, "Hey, by the way." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you do or not. A little but strange, like... but what are you gonna do? Yeah, I mean, that's a pretty minor criticism. It doesn't, like, ruin anything. It is just a little weird, though. Yeah, me and, me and Will talked a little bit about it last week, or last Friday. Uh, and it's, it's like, one of those things where, like, if you think about it, it's like, I guess it makes sense that Ranulf would be the one to figure it out. But it's it's a little anticlimactic. <laughs> you can actually, um, if you have Ranulf engage the Black Knight on that river map, um, he does basically just go, oh, hello again. And Zelgus is yeah. just like, <laughs> don't what you're talking about. He does, he does, but that is, that is sort of like an improbable situation considering the Black Knight. What are you talking about? <laughs> I think I think that scene should just be like an irregular cutscene, because it's really good foreshadowing. Yeah. But no, you have to be insane <laughs> leap in logic to just. I'm guessing I skipped through this map. Yeah, nothing goes on in this map. It's not that interesting. So, fuck it. Oh, just a steel lance. Well, don't mind if I do. Steel Lance, I hardly know her. So Zelgius on Heroes, so when I first saw him here, I was like, oh no. I'm gonna die mad about that. Yeah, yeah so am I. What a what an inexplicable decision. Uh, it's just a concoction. So um, every month or so, uh, Fire Emblem Heroes will do this thing called Resplendent Heroes, where basically they give existing units a new skin that you can pay real money for, and you get like stat boosts and like alternate art and shit. 
And I'm worried that one day they're gonna do one for Zelgius and give him like his just regular armor. <laughs> That's like the only way I can conceive to make that situation worse. They could do topless Zelgius. No, okay. That would He's actually Zelgius. fix the whole situation. Oh, oops. Oh, well, you don't have a weapon, so it doesn't matter. Ah, but I do have to kill you. It's fine. Yeah, no, look, is, is, is Ike? Ike has sight. So I, I sent, um, I sent Yam some screen caps. Let me see if I can do it again. So for some reason, putting mist, like there's fog of war, right? Putting these characters in darkness normally. Yeah, no, mist can't see. Yeah, that's really weird. That shouldn't be happening. Oh. I wonder why that is. Well, that's some more epic foreshadowing. <laughs> I do like how um, the bird lagoos can't see at night. It's like, yeah, no, birds birds don't fly around at night very well. They got no vision. Yeah, um, that's, that's a touch. Y'all forget about owls? Caught you yeah. guys live for the first time, but I'm only on part four of the Path of Radiance streams. If you want to be unspoiled, I'd actually leave then. We already yeah. ruined yeah, we're, we're, something for you. Yeah, we're 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 in the the thick of it at this point. Oh, there's a man. He looked out. He was almost paralyzed forever. I I love that she has that ability for no reason. <laughs> Other than because. Hey, wouldn't it be funny if Nyla was even better? Yeah, we could do that. Huh? Why not? <laughs> Literally, how? Well, sir. So, um, most of the bosses... I believe every boss from this point on in the whole game actually is a named important character after this map. But, um... Oh, uh, this map, the only noteworthy thing about this woman is she is the only female boss in this game huh. that isn't, oh. you know, a playable character. There's a, there's one other one, but like, this is the only normal one. Yeah. Who wants to take her? I'm all the bad guys. Someone else do it. Yen hasn't been a bad guy. Bones of your execrable goddess die! You are a festering wound in the flesh of the world. Die and let it heal. I suppose talking it out is over. Is it? Okay. <laughs> Man, lady, you're a lot. Do you have criticism of me? <laughs> yeah, a couple ideas. Unclean souls, your executioner awaits repent before your vile sins pour out of your black hearts and consume you! You sound like someone... You sound like someone casting spells if that someone was the grown-up version of Linus from Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Mis uh, I did not, Mr. Electric, send him yes! to the principal's office and have him yes! expelled! Expelled! Amy, what the fuck are you doing? Yes, but my work is not yet complete. Blaharg. Um, I mean, like, we're, we're good. Amy, I think you're rolling up the dog upstairs. That's fine. Fuck him. That's fine, fuck that dog. Hello, fellas. Hello, boys. 
Boys? 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 Boys, where are you going? Boys, come back. Okay. Quite a quite a few fellas here. I hope they don't kill Heather. I don't think that guy's gonna move, because he's part of the boss brigade. Who's most boss likely brigade. to kill Heather? I I find archers kind of scary. Archers have a high crit rate. This Ike is a fucking tank, by the way. <laughs> 15 res on an Ike is pretty fucking good, actually. Big strong boy. Oh. Someone earlier asked, have, uh, have I shown off Whisper's ability? Uh, no, I have not. Bane is pretty annoying if you're trying to disarm people. So, uh, Bane is the third tier rogue thief ability, which can randomly... Make any enemy's health one. <laughs> what? Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know. That's silly. Uh, does it proc often? Yeah. Oh. It, it procs frequently enough, I'm gonna say. That's silly. Ah, shit. Wow, that, you have a, oh, because it's a killer axe. Fuck, I didn't see that. I was gonna say you have a surprisingly oh, shit. high. You have a high crit rate there, fella. She got a gun. Oh shit! Well, I might die then. We'll see what happens. Good luck, us. I believe in us, bro. Ooh, good. Yeah. yeah. I don't think Will would forgive me if I let Titania die. That would be Major Bumsville. Major. Sue. It's was? You haven't heard. No, tell me about this acting. Well, Siv, or, uh, Amy was actually providing us an example of an Academy Award winning uh, <laughs> child actor, actually, uh, from the hit film Shark Boy and Lava Girl. Wow. Mm, yes. Uh, and if you paid close attention, I was lying. Wow. You 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 asked this last stream too, HK51. Why does the evil goddess have an army? Why does she unstone these fuckers to stop us? She basically needs to charge the laser again to get clean up the rest of the world, because she missed the people who are too strong and she missed all the branded. So she's charging again, and to buy time, she is going like, okay, I'll have some of these flesh puppets kill each other. The goddess there. Hold. Oh. <laughs> Hold. And they haven't, but, they haven't actually my goddess. that um, she missed the branded yet. Yeah, but it doesn't matter. Hold. It matters a little bit. I mean, in, in terms of like, I don't care if I spoil that now. Okay. So be it. Hmm. Whatever. Hey, boyfriend. <laughs> Little kiss. Little kiss. Do we get them all? Good. Uh, before I read this, I'm going to turn the lights on. It's very dark in this room. All right. Big Something about Ike. Cat Jello. <sighs> it looks like all of them. Fanatics that appear out of nowhere and attack from darkness. This will be tough. Hi. Ina, are you alright? Why didn't you transform? I didn't want Prince Kurthnaga to be frightened, so I tried to hold them off in this shape. He hates blood. <sighs> this can't go on. I'm going to talk to him. Hey, idiot. Hey, Prince Kurthnaga. <gasps> oh, stay away! What's wrong? Don't you remember me? Um, that smell. The blood on your sword. What, this? No problem. I'll go drop it over here. Hey, look. No sword. Are you okay now? Yes. Good. I wanted to talk to you a little. 
Do you remember who I am? Yes, we met once, three years ago in Goldoa. That's right, you do remember. You helped us when our ship ran aground, and you gave us food and water. Yes, you were the first Bjork I had ever met. That's a... That little fade out is because you don't get that exchange if you don't do the battle transfer from Path of Radiance. I'm glad our paths crossed again. We didn't have much time to talk back then. I didn't even get to introduce myself. I'm Ike of the Grail Mercenaries. Thanks to you, we completed our voyage safely. I've been wanting to thank you for three years. So, thank you. No, it was nothing at all. Actually, it was quite an experience. I had only read of Bjork in books, so meeting one was a rare privilege. I really wasn't myself, so I hope I didn't say or do anything rude. It's embarrassing when I think about it now, I'm sorry. No, if anything, I was the rude one. I was just an ignorant hothead with no manners or gratitude at all. But you just laughed and forgave me. I'm really grateful for that. I'm glad that I could be of some help. It seems like it's been a while since I've had that chance. Someone should stop turning off the lights. <laughs> Prince Sorry, Naga. it's whenever I blink. <laughs> wow. You s <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> it's not often. <laughs> <laughs> There's something I have to ask you. Before Yune's awakening, why did you side with the Dayan army to fight against us and the Apostles' army? The Dragon Tribes are neutral and known for their hatred of blood and war. As their prince, I can't see why you would do it. I suppose I owe you an explanation for that. First of all, the Dragon Tribes had nothing to do with any of this. I disobeyed my father and the laws of Goldoa. I joined the battle against all of my uh, I joined the battle against all of my training of my own free will. Ina just saw me leaving or I wouldn't have brought her into this. I just wanted I just wanted to help my sister. Sister? You have a sister in Dayan? Yes. A sister and a brother actually. My sister's name is Almeida. She was the wife of the late <laughs> King Ashnard. God, get get him out of here. <laughs> I like to sneak up on my wife. <laughs> Mad King... <laughs> so horrible. Mad King Ashnard was married to a princess of Goldoa? Yes. And my brother... My brother's name was Rajahan. Rajayan? I don't remember which one we did. I think it was Rajayan. Wasn't he the dragon yeah. that was warped and used by the Mad King? Wasn't Ina supposed to marry him? Yes. That savage Ashnard held his own baby hostage. The baby born of my sister, Almeida. And then he took my brother, Rajayan, and warped him in order to use him as a, a mount like a common wyvern. I'm sorry. I didn't know. Nah, you didn't even know him. <laughs> I... <laughs> you were there at my brother's last hour. I'm sorry to ask you, but when my brother died, did he die peacefully? Yes, he did. Before he died, Rayson was able to undo what Ashnard had done to his body. Rajayan passed on in Ina's arms, with a contented smile, as if he were sleeping peacefully. Thank you. It's a tremendous relief to know that. My sister was tangled in Ashnard's schemes. Her brother was killed and her son taken away. She was unable to return to Gordoa and unable to consult our father. My sister has suffered so much. I wanted to help her. So that's why you came to Dayan. I'm sure that was difficult for you to tell me. Thank you. Actually, it makes me feel just a little better. Oh, actually, it makes me feel a little better just talking about it. I won't repeat a word of anything you just told me. I swear on my father's grave. Meanwhile, Kanegus, hey, this looks nice, <laughs> rips it out of the ground. <laughs> That'll be funny in two streams. The dragon tribes. <laughs> the dragon tribes. And the Black Knight. They both lead back to Dayan. Something about that country always draws me back to it. They pull me back in. Yeah, I'm thinking I'm back. You guys are making some real awful jokes about Ash. <laughs> oh, I yes, remember. they are. We do, we do classy jokes about Ashnard around here. You know how you want to kill all the goos, but also fuck them? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm a little confused, you know? And the Queen Mother, Almeida. While they receive reports from they have encountered no reason. Ah. 
How do I keep coming 20 minutes in? I don't know, man. We do this at the same time every week. King Tabarn, Queen Alincia, we may need to halt for a bit. No. What? What's the problem? We have some stragglers lagging behind. Some lagglers stragging behind. <laughs> you mean Almeida and Peleus are slowing us down again? We have to reach the Tower of Guidance as soon as possible. We can't have them always hampering our progress. But we have no idea when the Disciples of Order might attack. We need to keep everyone together, for safety's sake. Oh, it's so nice to have you on a pro mic now, Sif. Yay! Sound really good. Rayson, we'll rest here. You can land and give your wings a break. All right, I'll bite. What's Ashnard's fursona? Slug! <laughs> we, uh, we had a whole backstory for it, too! You just missed it. <laughs> Wipes the tear away. <laughs> Rayson, I remember when a trip like this would have exhausted you. I'm impressed at how well you're handling it. Yes, physically I'm quite healthy, but I can't say that I'm really happy about that. Why would that be? We of the Heron Clan can feel the energies of others. In times of war, negative energy is dominant and we sicken. Your vibes now, are rancid. Oh, really? Yes. Yeah. Literally. Now that all the people have been turned to stone, the energy is gone, and physically, I feel much better. It's unsettling to feel healthy and know that the reason is such a sad one. It's a terrible irony. We finally have the peace we've been praying for, at the cost of all freedom, everywhere. Could this truly be the world that Goddess Ashra wants for us? Yeah, man, everyone just turned back into worms. <laughs> no. <laughs> King of the Worms! No, this is the world she had to give us after we ruined hers. Oh, welcome back. Any sign of the Disciples of Order? Unfortunately, no. I don't like this. Why are they leaving us alone? I'm not sure I see the problem, Tabarn. If they're gonna let us stroll on through, I won't complain. Not me. Right or wrong, I would prefer a stand-up fight. And I missed the last bit, because I stumbled. Right now. Ugh. Okay, don't worry. What are you saying, Tabarn? How could you wish that upon us? I don't understand you. Right now, the world is calm, peaceful, almost eerily so. It almost feels comfortable. If this goes on, we might relax, lose our edge. I'm worried that we'll get careless. Hmm. Everyone, let's get one thing perfectly clear here. This isn't a natural peace. Fuck. Don't forget that for an instant, the world is supposed to be like this. It should be noisy, vibrant, and chaotic. You're right. A peace built on the sacrifice of so many lives is monstrous and unjust. It cannot be allowed to stand. I didn't mean I'm losing my motivation to save the petrified people. It's just that before we started talking about it, I was feeling complacent. Is it just me? The spirit of order is hanging heavy across the land. When we fight, we get a dose of chaos, which may help us get back in touch with our true selves. If our enemy has also figured that out, it might explain why they're staying away. I love how they describe how uncomfortable. It's just like, everything's perfect. Ew. Yeah. Mm. It's, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's, it's a nice new one to take. Pelias, dear, how are you feeling? Mother, I'm fine. Please stop asking after my health. But you're so pale, darling. You were always such a sickly little boy. You should rest a while. We can't have you exhausting yourself. No, Mother. If we stop walking now, we would slow the others. Never mind them, sweetheart. They can wait. You should take a nice rest under that tree. Son, remember that you are a scion of both Dayan and Goldua's, Goldua's royal families. You are more important than any of these peasants. Once I bedded a Bjork, not only did I lose my powers of transformation, I lost my accent. I am the only in the world who can say Goldoa normally. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I keep forgetting. The others can certainly wait for you. Don't spare a single thought for them. Let go of me. Leave me alone. <laughs> mother. Helios. I'm sorry, mother. I... <laughs> Pelius, please. Pelius. Someone in chat. Pelius kind of uggo. I don't think that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> so mean! <laughs> I destroyed his whole life! 
Oh, you ugly. Why is it hard enough? Leave him alone! <laughs> hey, Kieran. Yes, I grow it's stronger! Out, Strong! <laughs> Strong. Oh, that woke up my cat. Oh, good. Astrid's already promoted. In that case... <laughs> yes! Yeah. Like comment in chat. Horse clothes. Oof, to barn. Calm down. Uh, Savior's pretty good on you, actually. He just huh? starts frothing at the mouth. <laughs> yes, Taranio! No, oh, that's quite. Um, is, is there, uh, what, what are you giving me? Beast feed? Oh, beast, beast foe. <laughs> yeah, beast foe is I not thought. useful for a couple more maps. Ah, let's take that shit off. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Alincia suddenly doesn't feel merciful. So, uh, kill Alincia, it, while Alincia has that ability, she can't kill people. <clears throat> oh. I woke up today and chose violence. I mean, it's good, good if you want to trade, like, uh, train up like other people. Yeah. You can... God, wild not to use Neff. Take yeah. that off. Get that off of you. Get that <laughs> off of you. Sometimes, um... Oh, right, I brought Har. Nice. Um... Sometimes, uh, my aunt will tell me this story about when she used to take care of me and, like, babysit me and drive me around. And one time, apparently, when I was little, I... We, like, ended up stopping at a light really abruptly with, like, a tire screech. And apparently my reaction to that was, What kind of ride is this? And sometimes... <laughs> and sometimes... <laughs> After being told that, sometimes now, after I'm just like, what the hell is going on? Or like, what kind of clown circus is this? Usually if I'm just by myself, I go, what kind of ride is this? <laughs> <laughs> ah, Jello, abridging things since the age of six. <laughs> <laughs> that is so cute. <laughs> oh, you guys. Uh, well, I'm actually going to buy more of this again, because Jesus Christ. Put it on to barn for now, but I'm going to throw it in my inventory. Buy two of these. So, uh, this is the only time I can forge, because I've got Horge and Daniel. Horge. So, do we want to, do we want to forge an upgraded Stinko Jim? Because I think we're, I think we're running low on Jim. Give him life. Oh, right. Yes. Someone, here he is. Only 15 Stinko Jims left. So, <laughs> so do we... Do we want to carry on the name or do we want to... I, I imagine I'm going to forge him one now because I'm going to use Tyranio. I think he's earned it. Um, yeah. And I've never done that before, so it'll be funny. Do we, do we like, keep the name raw as Stinko Jim or do we increase it <laughs> every time in some fashion? Uh, Putrid James? I don't know, man. <laughs> That's a I'm, cowboy name. I'm fine with Rancid Jim. Rancid Jim. I, I was gonna say, I'm fine with keeping it Stinko Jim, but then someone in chat said Rancid Jim. Rancid James. Stinky. That's I don't know, like, Stinko Jim just just flows. Yeah, off Stinko of Jim. Joe. All right, we'll, like, we'll we'll keep. So Stinko Jim was the worst thing I could possibly forge. Do we want to remake the worst thing I could possibly forge? I mean, maybe maybe Stinko Jim has earned the right to, be to maybe not get a better name, but to actually be powerful. So tell you what, like, I'll make I'll make this one a steel lance, and then for end game I'll make a I'll make a another one. You'll make rancid James. <laughs> we'll make the ultimate Stinko Jim. Give him a little crit. Give him a little yeah. Gotta be white to match his armor. Um, 
Wouldn't it be green, like a lime green, because it's stinky? Your your call. Stinky. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, get that out of here. Hands <laughs> you the spear. Come on, axe. Okay, accuracy is good. Yeah, you cannot I escape, Stinko Jim. <laughs> Stinko Jim Plus. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Stinko Jim EX. <laughs> I was gonna say Stinko Jim XD. Stinko. Uh, oh, I forgot how you how you do this. Don't name him Stinko Jim. I'm not I'm not gonna, but the buttons are so fucking weird to move it. No, the buttons are so weird to move it to the left. Cursor left, right. Okay, it's B and A. Why? Why would why do they do that? Why, it's so strange. I hate that you can't like back it off here. Ugh, default. Yeah. There we go. That happened once before. Um Yeah. Stink with a with an N. Stinko Space. Stinko Jime! <laughs> Stinko Jime. Stinko Jim Plus. I'm looking for the plus. Yeah. Wormst. It, it's it's there about there. It's there. Yes. Stinko Jim Prime. Oh, we know who go we know who gets this. Stonks Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Rayson, where are you? Over here, Tabard. What oh, are you doing so early in the morning? This is just another Satori sign one. There's there's nothing going on here. I found a present. A present? Ooh, Ra, what's this? No, put it away. Good morning, Queen Alincia. Oh, good morning, Horch. It looks to be a pleasant day, doesn't it? Indeed. And a splendid morning is the best time to present a queen with a fine gift. Oh, Horge, your kind thoughts are enough. You and Dan- sorry, is it Daniel or something fancy? It was just Daniel. Okay, you and Daniel have worked so hard to supply our army. If you have something for me, please, let me pay you for it. We are literally the last people in the world. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> Even under these circumstances, Queen Alincia, you always try to be good to us. That's why we wanted to give you a gift. It's a token of our appreciation. Daniel. We'll take payment for everything else, but please, take this one item without any protests. It's our pleasure. Please, Queen Alincia, we insist. Very well. I suppose it would be quite rude of me not to accept it. Wonderful. Here it is. Please use it with our compliments. Oh. This is a lighter. <laughs> yeah. 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 It's a very fashionable yeah. one. Fashionable. So I can see. I'm not a mage, but I feel great power coming from this. You're just making that shit up. It's just a normal book, you dumb bitch. Daniel and I happened to be <laughs> in that... Well, here you go, chat. Daniel and I happened to be in that building when there was a big flash of light. And that's how we escaped from being turned to stone. But you avoided it because you were one of the chosen. But we still want to help you. We can collect weapons to help you in battle. From where? Please, save the people who were turned to stone. Please, give us the world we used to have. And please, pay us for it, even though, you know, we should probably just help you for free. No, look, man, we, I think they might, I think they want to make a little money off a of cursed sword. <laughs> oh, right, that's me. I didn't hear you click on the next text box. I promise you, I will do my utmost. I'll work towards it with everything I have. Together, we can accomplish anything. Rex Flame. Ah, Rex Flame. Useless, since Sonicy oh, has a better know. weapon than that by default. Neat. I mean, what if you're using Tormod? Looks at you. <laughs> then I want. Looks at you, Rex. <laughs> what if you're using Tormod? Then you should bless Meteor. <laughs> <laughs> and also think about what you've done. <laughs> Give you a little potion. <laughs> Here, buddy, have a coin. Money for me? 
No. You're not coming. Stego Jim! Are there any uh, fun little... Actually, what else can I use? I am a knight. Ooh, axes! Wow! I can I can really use some axes right off the bat. Huh. Okay. So we're on you, impressive. Not that I ever use an axe when I have Stinko Jim and his very handsome brother. Mm. Stinko Jim. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I Jim. <laughs> Snap into a Slim Jim. A stinky Slim Jim. Yeah. Walks, walks up to an enemy. Snap into a Slim Jim. Breaks him in half over his knee. <laughs> hey, is like Tarania like weird to anyone else out? No, he seems pretty normal to me. No, it seems like Tarania. Oh Tarania's. man, you should have seen him before he was senile. <laughs> was it better? Was it worse? <laughs> oh, you know. Oh, you know. I don't. That's why I asked. Hmm. Well, it's one of those fun little mysteries in life. Stinko Who's ghost Jim? is possessing Stinko Jim Plus? Probably just get old fashioned Ashnard again. It'll be faster just to do this once instead of twice. Uh... My mom wants to know when I'm gonna visit them. Concoction, concoction, okay. I'm glad they give you Janaf at, uh, let, at level 29, so maybe you can have one character use a Satori sign. Ooh, yeah, okay. To be fair, Janaf is one of the better Lagoos units. I mean, he's good. All the birds are good. I'm just saying, why do they give you so many of those fucking things? Jesus Christ. All right, Astrid. <laughs> see what you got now that you're promoted. A brave bow? Hell yeah. All right. Oh, no. She can't use crossbows. Actually, can't she use spears or something? Oh, yeah. Why is this bench <gasps> so small? Oh, my God. I downloaded a 3DS out of a bench, and it's fucking minuscule. What is this, a bench for ants? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, cool. Ooh, Celerity. I know who I'm giving that to. I got I'm not going to hold any of that. That's fine. I guess let's uh, do support. Can anyone be friends? Oh. Uh, you two should be friends, right? Yeah, okay. You're already friends. Neff and Brom, you guys don't get to... <laughs> uh, my, good, my good friend! Meg! Pick you up and throw you like a pumpkin. <laughs> Yeehaw, sir. Sure. Yes. Yeehaw, indeed. Okay. Are we going to give Astrid funny pew? Re yes. Remind me later. We spotted the enemy. They're over there to the southwest. How did they get so close without being noticed? Do we have men out of... Bleh, do we have men out of position? No, I just checked in. Enemy forces suddenly appeared, with no sign or warning at all. Guess that's one good thing about fighting a goddess. Things sure are, are sure to be exciting. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. Hang Fuck. in there. Everyone get in position! An entire legion that can appear from nowhere? Who are these disciples? To be honest, I don't care who they are. I just want to knock a little disorder back into the world. Someone in chat, even if you hack the game and give Astrid transfer bonuses as though she capped everything, uh, she is still trash. Astrid's fine. She just starts weirdly low leveled in a bad, unusable position until late game part three. She's a good unit. I've used her in this game before. It's just like... It's rough going. They, they do not give you any breaks with Astrid. All right, this is going to be a tiny army. Once upon a time, there was a tiny army. It was very small. All right, let's go. <laughs> it was an army advance. Yeah, that's it. No one else. Whoa, you're going with nine? There's no reason to bring anyone else. They all suck, and I don't wow. care about leveling them. Oh. Do you? Am I stupid? Do you have a? Uh... Okay, yeah, you've got you've got all the grass. That's the best I can ask for. Okay. 
Bum, 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 bum. Bring our bird boys. Hey so, boys. Yeah, what am I gonna do here? Last time I did this map, I had the whole most of my army go this way, and I just sent Nephany down here and she killed everyone by herself. Um I could do that with Har, but I think I do need to spread this a little more evenly. This is not a good map for horses. Kind of uncool of them to give you your Crimean units on this group. But I guess there's no good maps for horses in part four, are there? Mm, no. Not really. All right. I'm sorry, I Titania. Guess, I guess the last one wasn't bad. Yeah, the previous one is fine. Let's let's do this. This should be fine. Okay. kind of wish part two had more chapters. I kind of wish there was a second game in between Radiant Dawn and <laughs> Path of Radiance. All right, here we go. Yeah, just kill this guy, who cares? I had a family. You're... Dad. <laughs> You're not real. What the fuck happened with Sephirin? What indeed? What indeed? Oh, I'm sure he'll turn up. What if he's, he's just, just vibing? What if he didn't? What if he just never showed up again? <laughs> <laughs> this I mean, written, why not? This isn't written by a Rocky. Uh -huh. All right. How about uh, Kieran? Kieran and Astrid, you two, just uh, go hang out. Perfect. Oh, right, you still have Paragon, so... Impressive. Her skill is already at 30. Yeah. Don't worry, John. I'll save the best for later. Oh. No, oh, no, Stinky Jim. They don't deserve your touch. You're out of touch, your Stinko Jim. <laughs> you're out of my head when you're not around. All right. Pretty good, I thought. Pretty good, I Still think, working. but probably just something in my eye. <laughs> Little contemporary welcome to fanfiction.net reference for everybody there. The reason with the reason I know Siv and Yam. In a distant sort oh, of way. Oh no! <laughs> Wait, what? Really? Yeah. 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 Huh? Are you gonna? Mm -hmm. Is someone gonna explain that? Oh, never mind. Hang on. Oh, my humblest apologies. I hope we didn't sneak up on you. I'm sure that cheeky little queenlet is still amongst you. I hope so. I'm going to make her pay for defying me. <laughs> You're still alive? Yeah, no one killed him. I I read his first line wrong, so I thought he said, My husband's apologies. I'm like, what? what? Progressive. <clears throat> Whoa. Ooh. But yeah, to explain uh that whole spiel with the uh the, the bloopers reel. Um because of the blooper that Jello made, uh for the um, welcome to fanfiction.net. Uh, Siv found it and was like, hee hee, that's funny. This guy's voice is kind of neat. Reminds me of what I would have uh, as a voice for one of my uh, characters for a webcomic. Uh, and then for my birthday, Siv drew um, really cool art of uh, Makise for me. And then we started chatting and then yeah, it just kind of progressed from there. Wow. Man, and I, oh, right, you. Pelias. I legit, it's been so long since I've used Pelias, I legit forgot he was here. I'm sorry to be late. What unit would you like me to support? Oh, King Pelias. <laughs> you shouldn't endanger yourself. Besides, I don't think we'll have too much trouble with these guys. I appreciate your concern, but as the King of Dayan, I fight for the people of all three countries. It is my duty. Wait, where is your mother? 
if one guy killed his mom in the woods with a rock, would that be fucked up or what? <laughs> well... Listen, I don't know what she's been telling you, but don't throw your life away. I appreciate that you want to help, but this battle is beyond you. Try to stay out of the way. Y yes, sir. Oh. It's Peleus like most dark mages bad. Peleus isn't a bad unit. It's, he's, no, he's fine. He's pretty tanky, actually, for a mage. Let's yeah, I, I like it when Fire Emblem makes the dark mages tanky. It's fun. Make it chunky, boy. He's also got a, a fuck ton of, like, unique tomes, which is cool. Yeah, I like it. I stole these books from Dayan. That's my kid. First thing I'm proud of you for. Who wow. are you? <laughs> oh, me, little old slug? <laughs> I'm your dad. Wanna play catch? Throws the ball at him and gets stuck. He can't get ah. it off him. Mom, you fucked a slug? Who hasn't? Someone is asking to see Peleus' stats. No. No. Oh, well, I'll get it. I almost had it there. I can feel it. There's a weird give on the keyboard. <sighs> Come on. I believe. I, I was, li there we go. There it is. You, I have to hit the S key like a third of a second before the Z key. There you go. They're fine. They're stats. He's a, he's halfway through second tier though. So he's a lot weaker than most of the other units here. Yeah, but yeah, that's not a, that's like a decent start. Yeah, he's fine. You know, we've certainly been given characters at a, in a much worse place. <laughs> Looks at Astrid. Yeah. My mom. My mom is great. We're figuring out some like Easter plans, and she's because like I, I can't visit for long because I got a stream tomorrow night. Um, and she's like, "Well, why don't you come on down early, and then we'll go grocery shopping for you, and then we'll do the the fancy lunch, then you can boogie on home." It's like. You're great, Mama. Mama. Oof. Mama, I love you. <laughs> oh. You bet. Huh. Whatever. Oh, I need to tell her. I gotta let her know that there's a new Hamsters Say Fuck video. Yes! By the way, Jello, not Hello, Jello released a new Hamtaro abridged mm, episode. Sting go Jim, sting go Very silly. <laughs> How much would I pay for a Path of Radiance plus Radiant Dawn HD remake on the Switch? Literally like $7,000, man. I love these <laughs> games. Yeah, we, we've talked about this before. If it got like the uh, Shadows of Valentia treatment where it is very clear that the remake is done out of love and respect, then yeah, a lot of dollars. Many. At least three. Game. Signed Centaur. It's really sweet that Will's mom oh. watches Hamtaro Bridge. Yeah, no, my mom is, she's very supportive of everything. She's always like, that Jello boy, he's going places. He's very talented. And like any time you know, Jello gets brought up. I, um, because the old credits for Hamtaro Bridge 2, which I used to make the ones for three, had the uh, top 10 patrons, because I did that back then. And uh, S Susan was one of them. Good. Yeah. Oh. And it was so we, The thing that we quote all the time still Is my mom, the first time she watched Hamtaro Bridge, the first episode She's like, that video was so funny My favorite part is when the hamster said fuck <laughs> Will's uh, mom sounds absolutely so lovely Says chat Will's mom quite literally sounds lovely She sounds like the, like in mom incarnate because of her yeah, Minnesota no. accent. Here's my impression of Will's mom. She just sounds like this all the time, and she's so excited about everything. She's uh, she's amazing. 
Meanwhile, my mom was audible on a call one time and responded. She was like surprised by something and went, heavens, and we haven't let her live in town. <laughs> <laughs> heavens is so funny. I feel very lucky that I got the chance to meet your mom in person, Will. I love that woman. She She's stellar. She, she's a great lady. I had lady. that picture on my phone of her trying to hold Al in the kitchen, and he's just a blur, and her face is like one-fourth dog champ. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I remember that when you guys were visiting, we had our D&D &D 5e game, and she got us all this sugar and stuff like that, and then she also made us an actual dragon chocolate cake, like it's a it's a cake in the shape of a dragon. Um, I reach behind the pillar and find a <laughs> golden egg, Mom. You don't you don't get to decide that. <laughs> You're not. You don't chief. you don't find it. what? But I I found it. No, I tell you if you found it, and you didn't. Did I find a golden egg? My mom playing D&D is very funny. <laughs> I love that when given the option to find any treasure, your mom picked a golden egg. Yeah, oh, of course. A golden egg encrusted with dozens of jewels. Uh, no, you don't find that. What? What do you mean, what? No, you don't find that. I tell you if you did. Man, you've been using that spell a lot. Um, how many how many uses do you have of that? What do you mean, how many? <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a classic. God. That's it, man. That's tabletops. <laughs> Chat's like, wow, give your mom the golden egg. What the hell? <laughs> that was cheating. My mom, my mom is also the same person that, like, when during this D&D game, she was playing a rogue. And for whatever reason, she just wanted to bully the shit out of my friend Flash, um, who was playing this really quiet dragonborn. And we got to this ice cave, and I was like, yeah, so you're about to enter this uh, very spooky cave. And my mom's like, are there bats? <laughs> yeah, there's, there's probably a couple bats. She's like, all right, without anyone noticing, I'd like to climb to the top of the cave and disturb the bats so they attack Josh, who's Flash. And I was like, sure, uh, give me a stealth check because literally everyone's looking in the cave. So it's going to be a hard one. She rolls terribly. I'm like, all right, everyone watches you climb up the side of the cavern to get to the roof. She's like, that's fine, because this is the important part. I bother the bats. Roll animal handling. Rolls terribly. The bats attack you and you fall 20 feet. <laughs> you are being mauled by bats. And she's like, what? How did that not work? And I'm like, obviously not. And then Josh's character just walks over her, not responding at all. I remember that. God. <laughs> My mom is very, very silly. Mm -hmm. Yep, no. Everyone, everyone that ever meets or hears about my mom is like, shit, man. That's the best. <laughs> like, I can't stress enough. I, I had an amazing childhood. <laughs> like, uh, we had a pretty nice sized backyard and what my parents would do is they'd let the grass grow really tall, but then mow very specific lines and turns and whatnot and then give us our like little like power cars or whatever and put out street signs so that we had intersections and we could just drive around and pretend it was a town and whatnot. My sister oh, what was a cop. Fuck? Yeah, no. Uh, then uh, in the winter, my dad was like, there's a lot of snow and I don't have any projects right now. I know what I'm gonna do. So he like ripped off the guard on the uh, on the second floor, we had this little balcony that like was kind of worthless. He was like, I don't need this fucking railings. So we just ripped it out and made it so that the snow reached the second floor up to that balcony and made a like actual uh, big course for our sleds to go throughout the backyard. Uh, and then he's like, it's too slow. And he started throwing water on it to ice it up. He's like, there, now it'll be fun. <laughs> so we had this super fast 
uh, sled uh, uh, thing in the backyard? Ah, uh, no, Emerald Master. Will did not misspeak. I assume you misspoke, but I hope you have a friend named Flash who is fantasy character Josh. Yeah, all of Will's friends about, like, six plus years ago were all just nouns. Yeah. <laughs> Will, are you the protagonist of a children's just... TV show? <laughs> <laughs> I was literally just about to address that. <laughs> yeah, um, my, my parents are also the ones that like at our elementary school, when you first walk in, there was like this big like trophy case, but there were no trophies, really anything in it. And they were like, well, that's boring. So my parents went to the principal and were like, hey, would you like it if every month you just gave us a list of the elementary school kids' birthdays and we just made a big diorama that just, you know, was celebrating all of their birthdays and the, their names and whatnot? They're like, what? yeah, sure. What the so, fuck? That's so cute. Yeah, so like the first month was my sister and my sister was like, I want ocean themed because it was September. So they had like all these fish and they put like um, all these artsy and craft things to like make coral and water. Um, and then they would add little motorized things so the fish would move. Um, and then when we got to like June and July, that's when they would start doing like dinosaurs because I was in August and whatnot. Um, yeah. Uh, God, what are, what are the other fucking dope ass things my family did? Didn't your mom like make dresses for your sister for like most of her childhood? Yeah, she also made all of our Halloween costumes. Um, like when Aladdin was just like just trailers so you gotta figure this is like way back in the 90s like early 90s um and there was only a couple aladdin trailers out my mom made the uh prince abubu uh like outfit for me uh so i had the like the the big fun plume and things like that uh, uh she also made like you know where's the horse head and then the stick or whatever she made those but she also made dinosaur versions she just gave them out to the town um, not the town, but like more like the neighborhood. Um, let's see. God, what else do they do? Like uh, a fucking fairy tale king and queen. Yeah. Uh, and oh, then we have a little time on our hands, darling. Oh, have you been down? The sorry. Oh, have you been down to the to the uh, to the school lately? Those kids have birthdays, and no one's making a trophy diorama for them. <laughs> well, I got something you will do. It won't do it all. <laughs> Cover it in ice. <laughs> it's not fast enough. <laughs> Send the children rocketing down it. They'll love it. Um, they, we also had this thing called Scooter City, and uh, oh we were my like, God, "Yeah, I can't believe that shit happened." Yeah, yeah, it was really cool. Where we, we, everyone would get scooters, and we'd go through the like, you know, the one where it's like the, um, you'd sit on it, and it's the four wheels. You'd crush your hand every time. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, my parents were like, "Oh man." You guys should have like a cool thing to go through. So they made Sop Mountain, which was this big cardboard mountain that you could just ride through. Uh, so that was pretty dope. Um, my my dad is also border. He's basically MacGyver. Like he can fix anything, but he doesn't know how to work it. Like he fixed my iPod, but didn't know how to use it. So he didn't know he fixed it, which is incredible. Um, but at one point, we had a dishwasher. It was kind of on its last leg. And my mom was like, you know, we're going to need to get a new one. And he just looked at him and went, bullshit, I'm buying another one. <laughs> so uh, out of the blue, he just like stormed into my room while I was hanging out with my friends. He was like, hey, guess who just fixed a dishwasher with a Coke bottle? This guy. And walked away. And the dishwasher worked for another six months. Um, but then uh, my dad, at that end of the six months, came home from work to see my mom take the dishwasher and push it down the stairs so it came tumbling down and hit the concrete and just like burst open. And she looked at him and went, we're getting a new one. I hate that and walked away. Oh my God, Susan. <laughs> <laughs> You'd think she intentionally broke the first time. Yeah. Maybe she did. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no. They're they were they were pretty they're pretty damn dope. I'm sitting here trying to think of cute things my parents did, and obviously they don't they don't go to the level of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a hard but, act to follow. <laughs> one thing that my dad used to do, and this is topical because it's Easter, but when mm -hmm. we were kids, 
gangster, he would buy like those little plastic egg capsules and he would actually like while we were in bed, he would spend the night like writing little like um like riddles and oh. each each riddle would lead to like another egg and a different clue and it was essentially like a, a cute little hunt around the house um and we oh. had to like solve rhymes and stuff and then at the end it would be like like a big chocolate prize like sometimes it would be like the chocolate bunnies or like those really big uh like kinder eggs that you can buy that are like yeah. huge but yeah that, that was always really fun and, and he went cool. Yeah, and he, he went out of his way to like make them rhyme and stuff too. So I always thought that was really cute. <laughs> That's really cool. Mm. Yeah, my mom. My mom is just kind of like weird and spontaneous and a, and a little like goofy. Uh, she what was it. I told Sid about this, but she she told me I think like yesterday. Okay, <laughs> like out of nowhere. And she's like, hey, what are you doing? You know, like, oh, you know, I'm just, you know, I, I just ate or something. And she's like, oh, well, I'm just sitting here and I'm looking at a photo album and I saw a picture of you and it's your birthday and today you got a big old smile and I just wanted to hear your voice and see what you're huh? doing. And I'm like, oh, oh mom, <laughs> I'm not really doing it. She's like, oh, that's okay. I'm gonna let you go now. Like, literally, the conversation lasted less than four minutes. <laughs> she was just like, okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> that is that is the same energy as my mom with the phone, but <clears throat> the only difference is Minnesotans, and I, I have and had uh, inherited this trait as well, not to the same level as my mom. We are really bad at saying goodbye and sticking to it. Oh, so uh, is my mom. Yeah. But, like, that, that was, like, a weirdly, weirdly short conversation for her. But <laughs> Yeah, yeah, because, like, my mom is very much the um, uh, the type where she's like, okay, well, I'll let you go. Did you hear about? And I'm like, Jesus Christ, here we go again. And, like, let, let me, I cannot stress enough, love my mom. But there's plenty of times where I'm like, Ma, you've said goodbye six times, and you keep going on random tangents that we're not led into at all. Yeah, you know, well, like after a while, you just kind of like I haven't watched in this past ten minutes. <laughs> and after a while, you just sort of have to keep walking. Like, no, oh, ah. oh, um, uh, I don't know if I, if I want to skip the Izuka map, then it might be good to have her. Well, when did I save? I, I didn't realize that guy could walk that far. I thought Kieran was blocking him, but uh, I guess not. Shit. Ew. Isn't that great? Um... I don't know if I care enough. I don't know when the last time I saved was. You know, it's fine. This map's easy. I'll, uh... Oh, I can't. All right. Well, that huh? makes my oh, choice for me. Game over. Oh. oh, fuck. Oh, oh. yeah? Yeah, Alincia's Whoa, was... got a lot more to do in this game. Oh, bro. Can't lose Alincia. It sounds like you're not taking this very seriously. Yeah, okay, we're like two turns back. That's not terrible. Anyway, moms. Am you're I great. right? But yeah, I I know what you mean, Will. Like, after a while, you just have to walk away. Be like, no, mom, sorry, bye. I'm leaving. Yeah. <laughs> but I, I, don't, I don't have the stones to do that. Because oh, I just, I, do. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I'm very much like, okay. He's like, oh, what about, I'm like, okay, here we go. It's like, especially funny if like, uh, she'll, she'll always open up with, so what are you doing? Oh, uh, I'm hanging out with some friends. Oh, I'll make this quick. 10 minutes later. <laughs> like, ma. Yeah, the, the one what thing about my, my mom though, is that like, <laughs> If if I if I'm like okay this this conversation needs to stop I need to go and I'm like leaving she's the type to like follow you out the door <laughs> like you'll be like halfway down the street and she'll be like Amy oh my <laughs> god the amount of times she's done that shit <laughs> oh my god if she if she is driving by in a car and she sees someone she knows. That she will like roll down the window and like yell at them. <laughs> and sometimes she'll like slow down, like, you need a lift? Like, oh my god. <laughs> it's very kind of her though. Yeah. Amy, do you remember 
when we were going to give that Christmas present to Ashley and we were debating on whether going to the UPS store or going down to Canada Post because we were like, I don't know, does Canada Post deliver to America? Because this is when we were like young enough yeah, that we yeah. didn't know the difference. Yeah. <laughs> and we were literally on the intersection of the street in the middle of winter holding like a shoebox gift wrapped and we had just like said like, yeah, but isn't Canada Post closer? And out of the fucking winter mist stepped a Canada Post postman who said, I'm sorry, did somebody just say Canada Post? <laughs> <laughs> what are you, in the fucking Polar yeah. Express? Was he played by Tom <laughs> <Yeah>. Hanks? <laughs> I do remember that, but I didn't remember it until just now. Yeah. That's amazing. Did somebody say... <laughs> He, he was like, excuse me, I couldn't help but over here, but you said Canada Post, and well... <laughs> well, you're not going to... What kind of State Farm bullshit is that? <laughs> Die, Bowman! I'm a, a boop in you, you're making little boops. You're gurgling at me. Are you cold? I'll turn up the heat. Uh, you can already see the swing on Astrid as her skill, like her insanely high skill, is just like, yeah, I'll proc, I'll proc a fucking soul and I don't need that. I'll proc soul and whatever every single turn. Panacea might be the most useless item in this game because generally, what you need that for is sleep, where you can't use items. Oh, I, I was. I didn't even remember that that item existed. I was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> yeah, it sucks. It's not good. He wasn't even doing deliveries. He was just waiting in a bush for someone to say Canada Post, maybe. Finally, <laughs> this'll be the day it pays off. <laughs> Canada Post! It's me. <laughs> <laughs> My time's come. The time has come, and so, and so have, have I. I. <laughs> yep. Astrid's good now. Hooray! The time has come, and so have I. It's so fucking stupid. I love that Devil May Cry song so much. <laughs> You say he came out of the mist. Who do you think created the mist? <laughs> Jesus. How are we looking, Alencia? Not amazing. Amazing. Grace. How sweet this corn. Nice corn. Nice corn. corn. Nice corn. <laughs> I mean, what I'm trying to think of, of like... Kind of oh, yeah. That? Sorry, I'm not saying anything important. <laughs> no, no, you're good. Uh, I'm trying to think of like other fun stories to to share. Like I, th Those are all the ones I can really think of in, involving my parents. They, they've done plenty more. Um, Oh yeah, for my 13th birthday, which was my golden birthday, and on Friday the 13th, um, oh. the, the movie Dodgeball had come out, and my mom was like, well, that was a silly movie, and it looked fun. Did you want to have a dodgeball tournament for your birthday? Uh, so we got, like, the actual kickball. Um, from the uh, movie Dodgeball. From the movie Dodgeball. Um, and like all the way up the driveway, my mom had made all these signs as like, remember the five D's of dodgeball, dip, dive, duck, dodge and all that jazz. Um, and like my, my sister's friends found out what it was going to be. And they were like, yo, can, can we come? And they're all like these big burly dudes. Uh, they're like, yeah, this will be fun. And I actually got beamed in the head so hard that my eyes rolled back into my head. Oh, my God. <laughs> and I just went unconscious for, like, 30 seconds. They're like, holy shit. <laughs> Meanwhile, as I'm waking up, I get to do, yeah, he's out. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, and we were so rowdy that the police showed up. They're like, what's going on? And we're like, we're playing dodgeball. They're do like, you, do you think they got the call and they were like, Ugh, Susan? No, they, they, the cops know my mom very well because I figured. Oh, they? <laughs> oh no, because she helps them. Oh. I like to solve crimes in my spare times. <laughs> no, because. Such a little gossip. She loves to like get all the information and keep track of things. She's like, oh, have you heard about this? So-and-so has been driving this car recently and I know they sell weed. And the cop's like, that's a great tip. Thank you. <laughs> you fucking, like, fucking narc Susan Shaw. <laughs> <laughs> she fucking hates that guy. Oh, okay. <laughs> narc. Stinker. <laughs> um, oh, here's a fun, weird thing. My mom one day was just like, Ted, I want koi. And he's like, oh, oh no. my God. That sounds, that sounds like it's going to be kind of a pain. She's like, well, I was thinking because I don't know. Ted, how I want an animal that's going to be a 17 year long commitment. And if I take really good care of it, the rest of my life. <laughs> those, those koi are doing well. But um, we had only uh, the we had two ponds outside, but they weren't like ready for koi just yet. My mom also wanted to like figure out how to raise them. And also she wanted to see them more often. Uh, and she's like, Ted, we never use this hot tub. I want this to be a pond in our house for the koi. And he's like, I don't know, that sounds like a pain. And she's like, what, you can't do it? Like, I can fucking do it, just shut up, I'll do it. And so um, <laughs> like two weeks later, we had this like beautiful, like bamboo pond from a hot tub that just had these wonderful koi in it. And it was just in the house and uh, it was dope. So are you sure that your surname is Sop and not like, Magorium, and you're from some sort of wonder emporium or something. <laughs> I mean, I'm not, but my parents could be probably. Uh, oh. and that's 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 the fun thing is like my my mom, anytime she has a project idea, she just says, if my dad doesn't want to do it, oh, you can't do it. And he's like, I can do it. It'll be easy. And then he just like makes easy. it amazing. Easy. Easy. Um, it's like we also had this dog named Bogey, uh, who, um, I think they were Border Collie. The, the dog that, like, Lassie was. Um, yeah, Border Collie. Yeah. And he was getting really old, and his legs weren't so good. And the stairs, they took him a while to get up and down. And my dad loved that dog. He wouldn't admit it, but he loved that dog. Mm -hmm. So he, like, punched a hole in our, like, closed-in patio. Uh, that was on the second floor to the backyard. <gasps> and on. he made this like I know this, on, is, this is important, Will. Yes, yes. Surging with power! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Just takes off his helmet, he's Ashnard now. The transformation is complete! Uh, little older than I planned, but it's nice to have thumbs again and be human. In that order. <laughs> I don't need my helmet! I can't you're, see! You're just slowing me down. Oh, it's someone in chat. Nah, he's from the one stop sop shop. <laughs> <laughs> um, but, uh, so what my dad did is he punched a hole in the, this like enclosed patio on the second floor to our backyard and made a like, I want to say 20 foot long carpeted ramp with um like little rails to prevent him from falling off so uh he would just like boom, 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 down the ramp uh to go outside and whatnot that dog was great too because uh he spun his tail like a propeller as he ran like tails oh, no. um, and he was as old as shit and uh, when we played Mario Golf for the N64, every time someone got a bogey, he would come into the room slowly, be like, hey, what's going on? Someone need me? Because the gamers go, bogey! No. <laughs> Are you... Uh, that dog was great. Like, think back to your most vivid childhood memory and look around. Was the sky <laughs> colored with, like, a with like a colored pencil? Are you like sure you didn't fall out of a book? <laughs> <laughs> no. I mean, there, I mean, okay, so if you don't want, like, oh, man, Will's childhood is the best, I'll, I can tell you some, like, oh, that's not ideal. Um, it's not even that big of a deal, but, like, uh, we had a bunk bed. Um, oh, my God, not this shit. Yeah. No, I can't do this. 
and my my sister and I were on the top. <laughs> my sister and I were on the top bunk bed, and uh, uh, I was like probably four or five, meaning she was like seven or eight, and uh, we're playing with toys and whatnot. It was totally fine, and I made the grave mistake. And I was like, I would like to play with the stuffed Sarah Triceratops from Land Before Time. And my sister's rebuttal was to throw me off the top bunk bed into the glass cabinet. <laughs> and, I, and I bashed my head open. And uh, my mom was obviously like, Jesus Christ, what the fresh fuck? And loaded us all in the car. And we went to the hospital and... My mom was like, you're coming into the emergency room to see what you did to your brother. And so as they're stapling my head shut, my sister's laughing. <laughs> yeah, your your sister's a lunatic. I feel like she's like... <laughs> your sister is just like my sister, what the fuck? What the fuck yeah, does yeah. that mean? <laughs> okay, there was, there, she had this friend who also had a, a bunk bed. And one time she was over at that friend's house and this friend fell off the bunk bed and like hit multiple shelves on the way down. And my sister did nothing except laugh at her. <laughs> <laughs> like her brother came up and was like, what the fuck, mom? And my sister just laughed. And now oh. she's a nurse. <laughs> Shocker. She learned. It's it's really funny. I think I think those kind of people like have to get the malicious side of them, and then they're great because. No, no, like, will my sister will. Oh, will yeah. She's a nurse now. The malicious didn't leave. But now it's helpful. Mm. You ever met a nurse? Better than a doctor. I mean, she's she's all right. My sister has. I I won't get into it. <laughs> <laughs> you have to you have to meet her. <laughs> yeah, my um, my sister was very much like she she would terrorize me, and she like also had uh, a lot of power over me because like I I was not a very like affirmative person. I didn't really have much of a spine because I I didn't like rocking the boat. Um, I was very much the kind of kid where if my my sister and my mother and or father uh, got in an argument, I would start just doing chores around the house. As like a please, I am the good one. I'm. I don't want conflict. Please be nice. Yeah, I feel, um, I feel that. And um, uh, when I was 21 years old, uh, we were just driving, and my sister just stopped and went, "Will, I've been really mean to you, haven't I?" I'm like, "Yeah, yeah, have." And she's like, "I'm gonna start being better." <laughs> I was like, cool. Thanks for realizing it now. And now we're, we're total buds, and she's done a lot of really nice things for me. Are um, you sure you're total buds, or are you still in a glass case bunk bed coma, and that's just what your brain <laughs> is telling you? I mean... Shit, that'd suck. That'd be pretty rough, but, like, pretty good coma so far. Like, all things considered. Words never said. <laughs> it's not a bad coma. I've, I've seen worse. Dude, nice coma. Dude, nice coma. Yeah, I, yeah, I, I kind of had a similar relationship with, with my own brother. Where when we were younger, I, I used to pick on him a lot, and then I had like a, a moment where like, man, that was fucked up. And I think we're, we're pretty good now. I, I do love my brother a lot. He's a good kid. He's a good dude. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of. Yeah, God. Um. Siblings, am I right? Yeah. Wouldn't know. Will, we need a better comb overall, please. All right, I'll get right on it, gives us Evan Ward. Fuck! <laughs> I mean, the Evan Ward universe ain't too shabby. Um, I mean, well, there's, there's, there's problems, but at least there's a lot of laughs. Um... <laughs> That's... Hmm. 
<laughs> no, the Ebon, wrong. The Ebon Ward world's a shithole. It's a funny shithole, but it's a shithole. I'm here to elongate the map. Me too. Hello. Please. Ooh, don't like any of that, gold medalist gamer. Ah, oh, shit, this is an archer. Wait, what are you, a side character from Holes? God, I hope not. Never a good thing to be. I like that one tweet where, or it was like a tweet or a Tumblr post or something, where it was like, yeah, bold of them to assume that a generation raised on Holes wouldn't hate the prison industrial complex. <laughs> <laughs> One time my sisters tricked me into helping them get out of a mud-filled ditch, but I got stuck, and then they ran away laughing. Took me a while to get out, and my grandpa didn't help me because it would build character. That fucking sucks, but oh. I, I have a similar story that might make you feel better. So one time in the winter, I was hanging oh my out with friends, and I like half fell in a manhole because the cover oh. fell off of it. Um, I didn't all the way fell it, uh, fall in, because like, we were walking over some snow. And then, obviously, we didn't see the manhole, which was open, and I fell into it, but, like, yeah. got caught on the edge with my arms. So I was, like, dangling. There was nothing below me, and I, I think I was, like, 11 or something, so I was definitely, like, you know, not tall enough. I was about to say, well, yeah, my... knowing you, I think if you'd fallen, you would have fallen, like, a foot. <laughs> yeah, but it was also, like, you couldn't see the bottom. So, yeah. and I was 11 and it was scary. Yeah, I know, and, I was just being shitty. <laughs> yeah. And I was with my sister and I think like two or three other girls from the neighborhood. Anyway, none of them would help me. They all laughed at me. I don't know why. I think they just, they thought I was like faking it or something, but no, I was seriously <laughs> like, I was terrified. And then finally one of their dads came down and was like, what the fuck? Because we were kind of in a place where we weren't supposed to be, and he, like, you know, picked me up and, like, hauled me out of it. And then later, one of the girls, like, the same day, I think not even, like, 20 minutes later, one of the girls went back down and then also got, fell into that mail. <laughs> the same way. And then, of course, her dad had to come out again and rescue her, and God, he was so fucking pissed, but it was very, it was funny. It was sort of like karma. <laughs> You, anyway. are, you are no soldier. Who are you, boy? I I am Peleus, King of Dayan. Oh, how precious! I was hoping that I'd meet the simpering moron who signed the blood pact with Lacane. How funny! <laughs> you, you will regret this! Zero damage! Oh no! Oh no! Oh dear! Um, I'm gonna wait to have anyone else attack him because I'm gonna kill him with Alincia, but I believe at least Kieran has dialogue with him. Kieran has dialogue with Veltome? Yep, don't die. Great. Okay. Unfortunately, he's gonna transform right back, which means I gotta fucking wait. Ugh, I wish I had, like, a little more... Should be fine. He should attack me. I can end it this turn. Get the hell out of here. All right. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure he's got this. Just in case you, you might, you might have uh, Corona, so I should be careful. That sounds weird right now. Um, <laughs> it's it's I was an. Like Oh yeah, the spell. <laughs> it's it's an ability. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hell world, hell world. Welcome to hell world. Ah, a Crimean soldier. Yes. Ugh, that queen of yours has no style. What ridiculous armor! You go out in that? I will brook no insult to my queen or my armor. You face Kieran, second commander of the Royal Knights, and your doom. Ow. <laughs> Why do you laugh at Kieran? No, I'm just laughing that they, they bothered to put that interaction in there. You go out in that? <laughs> <laughs>
I have always known that only I, Valtome, possessed the, uh, possessed the grace and beauty to be chosen by the goddess. How wonderful to finally be recognized for my excellence. If only that insufferable Zelgius could see me now. I am divinity! <laughs> I, I am actually, I, I knew she'd do that. So I'm going to reload just so we can get the Alincia version. Okay. Nice dying words. Gay. <laughs> mm, yeah, right? <clears throat> I've returned. All right. I can see why you love hate this dude. I love Val Tome. He doesn't matter at all, but like, I'm so charmed by how awful he is. I think tomorrow has got dialogue with him too, so it's just... Maybe. Yeah. Oh, oh there you are, Queen of Hayseeds! I look forward to scraping you off my immaculate nails! <laughs> oh, it's you. <laughs> Lord Valtome, I desire no battle with you. Withdraw your troops immediately. If you do so, no more lives will be lost. <laughs> Are you touched as well as homely? I offer you the chance to surrender. But you, Alincia, I will only forgive if you beg and crawl and lick the sole of my left boot. I'm sorry that you feel that way. If that's how it has to be, may the goddess have mercy on you, Valtome. Oh, it's a Barnes off on a fuck you mission. Well then, only one person to do the job. Stinko Jim! Stinko Jim finds the stinkiest man! Zelkis! Die! I grow stronger. Oh, wow, a light tome I'll never use. It's a light tome that poisons, don't you want it? <laughs> Oh, that's just what I needed. Queen Alincia, are you hurt? Still you. Sip. Yeah, yeah, I don't no, see the line. I see Tabarn's line. It's Tabarn still. Oh, I'm sorry. Jesus Christ. <laughs> do you feel as alive as I do? This is proof that we need a little chaos. Everyone understand that now? We either need to fight or maybe fall in a manhole or something. Just something to get the blood pumping. It yes. needs more ice. <laughs> but it doesn't make me fond of war. I know we can't stop, but... I understand, Alincia. Your path is important, too. Leave the rough stuff to us. King Tabarn, thank you. That was some good work you did back there. <sighs> okay, just relax. Give it together. <sighs> I'll go get the others. You just sit down and catch your breath. Huh. <laughs> Asthmatics unite. <laughs> Considering he's the only son of Ashnar the Man King, scourge of the crime and butcher of innocence, he's quite the mama's boy. Uh, can't get over that. Elias? <laughs> <laughs> hmm? Queen Almeida. You shouldn't be out here all by yourself. It's dangerous. Queen Melissa. I was worried when I didn't see you at supper, so I came looking for you. Hmm. I didn't think anyone in this merry band cared about me. After all, my own son is trying to avoid me. I can't imagine why. Uh, don't say that. A lot of <laughs> things have just happened. I'm sure Peleus is just confused. He'll come around. I hope you're right. Lady Alincia, can I ask you a question? What if your mother, was she also turned to stone? No. My mother died three years ago. Both my mother and my father were killed by King Ashnard. Why, Ashnard? I'm sorry. You should be. Lady Almeida, you were <laughs> King Ashnard's wife, correct? I gotta ask, why? Actually, wait, that is this scene, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> there was never a formal wedding ceremony, so I suppose some would call me a mistress. 
but I was the only one he could ever call his wife. And I'm the only one who could be called the mother of his child. King Peleus. Yes, Peleus. We were separated for so long. Finally having him back is the greatest gift imaginable. Forgive me for asking, but why did King Ashnard suddenly decide to invade Crimea? I want to know why my parents died. Truthfully, I don't know. You were closer to him than anyone. Didn't he say anything? Did he ever explain his reasons? The last time I saw Ashnard was long ago, more than 20 years. I'm afraid I don't know many state secrets from after that point. But why? You look so surprised. We had a falling out and ended up living separately. It happens rather a lot, I'm afraid. No, it's just that... Well, you said that King Ashnard had no more wives or children. I just assumed that you had always been by his side. <laughs> it was always gossip, of course, and I hated it. But I know with absolute certainty Ashnard had relations with no other woman. Now men, on the other hand. And so I said as much. So he did love you in his own way. Love? Love? Seriously? <laughs> What's so funny? There was no love between Ashnard and me. There was a strong mutual attraction between us, eventually resulting in a child. But all I ever was to him was a source of power. Once I became pregnant, I was useless to him. Bereft of my strength, he found my presence nothing more than an irritating distraction. After Peleus was born, Ashnard became obsessed with the boy. But once he realized Peleus had no special powers, Ashnard rejected him and used him as bait and a cruel trap for my brother. Lady Almeida? I... it's just that I... I'm sorry, it, it was not my place to ask. Where is he? Where is my Peleus? He's the only thing that matters. I can't lose him ever. Please, I beg of you. Bring me my Peleus. Tell him his mother needs him. Hurry. Bring me my Peleus. Chill, girl. Jesus. Of course, I I'll bring him as soon as I can. Oh, Rajan. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me. You're gonna have to speak up for him. He, uh, he's dead. <laughs> Unlike me, blah, sorry, <laughs> sort of blacked out there for a second. So, I hate that comment in chat. I'm not even gonna read that out. You know it if you know it. Oh yeah, okay. <laughs> I think it's funny. <laughs> oh boy, alright. This map. I'm picking up like Dark Souls level energy anytime we get to a new map. It's like when you get to a new zone. Ugh. It's this just map. it's just long. Uh, ah. it's part four. But but my boys are here, so I'm excited. The dark, oh, yes, the dark gods' tainted minions have defeated our forces at every turn. Now they have set foot on the holy ground of the Empire itself. We have no choice but to lead the army ourselves and destroy them once and for all. We are the chosen ones. Our will is the will of the goddess. With us at its head, our army is invincible. I think I was also a Hetzel. Because <laughs> why the fuck not? <laughs> yes, quite, as you say, Vice Minister. When I'm beaten that brat Sonicky, I'll make her kneel before me and plead for her life. <laughs> the Vice Minister says he hears the will of the Goddess, yet I've heard nothing of the kind in my ears. Why would the Goddess choose Lacane and me? We are the ones with the most to atone for. You've been basically every other senator. Shrugs while smiling. Oh, I yeah, like I the senators, that. okay? And for Sonicky. There sure is a lot of salt here. <laughs> no, honey. The silver-haired maiden. Uh, yes, it's me, Micaiah. Um, may I sit next to you? 
What? Oh, uh... Of course you may. Thank you. This is awkward. I'm sorry. I know you're not very fond of me, but I wanted to talk to you. Yeah, well, you did try and shoot me down with fire arrows and pour oil on our pegasi, so I'm not the biggest fan. Oh, look, Micaiah's talking. <laughs> it's not that. I like you just fine. It's just that you make me feel inadequate. It's because I can sing the Galder of Release and hear Yune's voice, isn't it? And because you're half an inch taller than me. How did you know? Well, who the fuck isn't at least half an inch taller than you? Well, I can sense the flow of people's thoughts. By seeing the movement of a person's mind, I can usually deduce what the person is thinking. You can read minds? What a boon that would be to running a country. If I could read people's minds, I could tell what the nobles and senators were thinking behind their smiles. I wonder why the goddess didn't bless me with such a power. Mikaya was born with her power. We didn't give it to her. Uh, is that you? The Dirk? No. I mean, the goddess of chaos, Yune? Let me ask you one thing, Yune. Why was Micaiah able to sing the Galder of Release, but I wasn't? I'm sorry, little Empress. I don't know. But I knew that Micaiah could sing it. That's why I stayed close to her. I don't understand. How can you be a goddess and not know? I thought gods were perfect beings who knew everything. Gods? Perfect? Where did you get that idea? You haven't met a lot of gods, have you? Well, no. But divinity created life from nothing. Surely, surely only perfect beings could do that. Well, we did create life. It can do many things you creatures of flesh can't. But that doesn't make us perfect. It just means we can make mistakes on a much grander scale. We're not what you've been taught. We're much closer to you skin wearers than some will admit. We do make mistakes. Sometimes we make terrible mistakes. Sometimes... All it takes is one emotional outburst, and the entire world is drowning in underwater. Ah, where did this sandstorm come from? Yune, you need to calm down. I wish we were perfect, and there wouldn't be any wars, and no one would have to die because of our mistakes. Whoa, hold on. Y yes, I understand, Yune. No, please calm down. Yune? She's gone now. She got upset. She hasn't lost control of her emotions like that in a long time. Micaiah, I'm supposed to be the voice of the goddess Ashura. Yet I've never once heard her speak. I wonder what she's like. We may find out before this is over. I if I scene. had to guess, bitch? I'm baby. Hold on one second, I'm checking a thing. I got I got a ping. <clears throat> I will be baby in just a moment. How did it go, Sigrun? Did you find anything useful? Only this, unfortunately. Ah, it's the Tome of Baloney. That's quite rare. <laughs> Actually, it's pronounced work, Boggle Nun. <laughs> I, I read it as Bolganon. I know. <laughs> okay. I pronounce it as Boggle Nun. <laughs> okay. To whom does this boggle none? <sighs> Such a heavy sigh. What's wrong? What sort of a state is the world in when the Apostle, our Empress, has taken up arms and fights alongside the common soldiers? Oh, are you pretending to have a personality? Is that still bothering you? <laughs> I already told you not to worry. But I just want a real personality. Please let me be a real girl, Empress. I know. But what would the Duke of Persis think if he saw you right now? Ah, uh, Sephrin. I wonder what he and Zelgius are doing right now. They're awaiting your return, of course. You don't have any doubt of that? Of course not. Duke Persis comes from a great family of mages. General Zelgius is the finest general in all of Benyon. They wouldn't have been petrified. We'll see them when we return to the Empire. That's true. I'm certain they're safe, too. They must be waiting for us. Let us make haste towards that word I didn't catch at the end. Cien. It's the name of the capital. Cien. Yes. That's why I keep suggesting that you should stay away from danger and... Nonsense. We will fight with everything we have. And in order to fight to our utmost, we need powerful magic at our disposal. 
Follow me, Sigrun. Under these sands are many precious treasures. Help me find them. Take out your, your metal detector. I'm glad she's feeling better. But to see our Empress is digging around in the dirt like a common farmhand... <sighs> Boggle nun! She's just like a little desert Ewok. Yay! King Nesala, you are by yourself today? Yeah. How about you? Where's that stone-faced sidekick of yours? He's just hesitant to show his emotions. I'm only joking. Don't get so defensive. Then don't insult my family. <laughs> you say he's your brother, but there's about as much resemblance between you two as between me and Skirmir. We're not related, but we're very close. Perhaps like you and Princess Leanne. What? You didn't... Yes, I can sense your emotions. I also know that you just closed up to keep me from looking in. You possess the same power as the Herons. How stupid of me to let my guard down. I'm sorry. What else did you sense? Excuse me? Did you find out anything else about me? No, I didn't try to read your mind intentionally. I just felt that your feelings for Princess Leanne were very warm. That's all I saw. You're sure? Fine. You're a lot like me. I'll let you off the hook this time. What do you mean by that? You'll see when the time comes. King Nesala! I almost forgot. Here, this is for you. Throw sand at her. <laughs> <laughs> Idiot. Ha, <laughs> this is a tome of light. We need you to stay alive, all right? See you later. Nesala. Yes. Ah, my yes. good friend. What the fuck? Why? <laughs> my good friend Ilyana. <laughs> my good friend Ilyana. Why? You had some like father delivery on that. Ah, my good friend Ilyana. With us working together, we'll be able to end that bratty kids next door once and for all! <laughs> I thought you were going to say, together we can finish this sandwich and this holds a really large sub. <laughs> it's just too big! <laughs> I'll be right back. Onions! <laughs> just lifts the top button. Onions? I hate onions! <laughs> Ever since I was a little boy. This is so much. All I had to play with were onions. <laughs> Made me cry! Back when grandfather left me out in the onion field all night. I said it build character! Then he threw me in. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was building to that. Thank you, Will. <laughs> Jesus Christ. All right. Um, this is going what a what a I know we've talked about it in another stream, so I won't harp on it, no, but like, know. man, what a great voice that is. Yeah, it's really good. Well, well, well. Well. Wow. <laughs> Just in a field pointing at wells. Well. <laughs> Fucking what? Boy, that got you a lot harder than I expected. This is so stupid. Well, well, well. <laughs> the image of that is so fucking pointless. Where's your father? <laughs> All right. Bond mechanics are based on per battle. Um, no, they're... They're based on, um, they're based on, like, interacting within, th it's like a little closer to Awakening, actually. It's based on how many times they interact or are within three feet of each other. You can also increase it by shoving or singing or rescuing, uh, which I did a lot of in the last map. And I know they, they expedite the rate in the last five maps, so it's fine. I was just hoping I could get it out of the way a little earlier. Put Paragon on Edward. I mean, he's fine, isn't he? Yeah! I'm not bringing Edward to Endgame anyway. Oh, he's still a Swordmaster? That's fine. He's... That's not a good place to put it on him anyway. 
Actually, come to think of it, does Nolan does Nolan have it? Because he shouldn't either right now. Imbue. Imbue's good on him. Um... A little Koopa Loopy! <laughs> Don't you fucking laugh. Oh, are you guys excited for the the news of uh, Knives Knives Out 2 and 3 getting greenlit? Extremely. Is Yam here? Yes, I, I just got back. Okay. Hey! Yune visited again, huh? Did she have anything interesting to say? Sort of. I think she might be responsible for the ancient flood that sank all of the other cont continents. Cool. Sorry to yeah. break up your alone time. We're in the middle of a large crowd of people. Sorry to break up your alone time, you two. <laughs> <laughs> but we have Disciples of Order troublers again. Hey! That's... That blue hedgehog again for yeah. place. It's a wow! <laughs> Well no, done, that was funny. <laughs> I knew this would happen eventually. I've been running from that blue menace for years. What is it, Empress Sonic? I remove my cloak and show you the truth. I am the Eggman. <laughs> That's what she is. <laughs> oh, I see. Chaos control. Just fucking shoot him. Oh, my dear Sonic, the false apostle. What a pleasure to see you again. And this time, I have an army of the righteous behind me, ready to strike you down. I have a question before you kill me. Is your hair really made of spaghetti? It is a single spaghetti woven through my immaculate face. The yeah. sound you made at the start of that sentence, I thought he was slurping his mustache, which then pulls all of his hair into his mouth and mm -hmm. just smile. Mm-hmm. Vice Minister Lacane, you are the foulest kind of traitor. I can never forgive you. <laughs> How amusing. Forgiveness from a fraud is of no value to anyone. Empress, please don't force me to listen to his blasphemies any longer. Allow me to silence him for you. Hold. Sigrid. Hold. <laughs> Hold on, give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> I made the joke, but it got me. <laughs> Hold, Sigrun. I want to understand. Lacane, on what grounds do you claim that I am not the true apostle? The apostle of Banyan shall be the firstborn daughter of each generation in the line of Ortina, first empress. She will give voice to the goddess. She will pass judgment, give prophecy, and protect her people and their lands. Sonaki, you have never once heard the voice of the goddess, have you? That is... That is only because I have not come of age yet. Oh, what a hysterical coincidence. That's just what the Senate has been telling people for years now. Apostle Sonic is too young to hear the goddess. Give her more time. How funny that the lie you've been living is the same lie we've been telling. But how? Explain yourself, Lacane. Poor false apostle. No one ever told you about your older sister, did they? She was the true apostle. I had a sister? She died before you were born, assassinated along with the apostle Mis uh, Misaha by the Heron clan. So the Senate installed you, the second daughter, as the apostle instead. You lie. You impugn both me and the noble Herons. <laughs> I'm glad to have exposed your secret. Perhaps now you will finally be able to accept the truth. Silence. The lying tongue of a treacherous senator proves nothing. You seek proof? Fine. Then we shall settle this in the... Uh, in blah, 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 blah. Sorry, a little slug coming out of my mouth. Fine. <laughs> we How shall I get here? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> we shall settle this in the ancient way. In a battle to the death. Whomsoever the goddess sees fit to win the day must be in the right. Whoop. Koopa Loopy. I haven't fallen in just yet. He slurped a little spaghetti. I'm hanging on to it like a rope. Don't, don't, don't <laughs> tug that. Don't tug that or I will be mauled. Ah! Lucane, we finally found you. How's our chance, Soph? 
We must do whatever it takes to get the blood packed. Yeah, maybe move a little quicker next time, guys. <laughs> right, let's go. There really was no reason not to just shoot Lacane in the skull with an arrow. <laughs> Rolf sitting on top of a sand dune. I might miss. <laughs> <laughs> One clean motion, no hesitation. Did you give me all of, um, the uh, the thing, the statue fragment? What? Oh, uh, no, I obviously forgot. Thank you for reminding me. You're welcome. I just love the idea of Renal being like, ah. Huh? Or not ran off Rolf being like, oh, I, I might miss the shot. I'll still try. And it's like a zoomed out. You can see everyone all scowling. All of a sudden, Scrimmier, oh, what the hell? <laughs> Just looks at his shoulder. Oh, shit. I wasn't even near. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Who needs items? You're fine. Wow, you can't use Nosferatu, girl. <laughs> Thanks for the support, Squidward. Now I feel worse about myself. <laughs> Walking into Magus' castle in Chrono Trigger, you hear something in the background of the music. <laughs> that's, I'm, I'm happy being the only one who thinks that's funny. <laughs> I've never played Chrono Cross. Chrono Trigger. It's very oh, different. One. Chrono Trigger's pretty good. Holds up really well, actually. Maybe one day I'll take a look at it. I tried out. to play it a few times, but I only ever got, like, a few hours in. I'd, I'd say it's probably one of the best time travel stories out there. Uh, you don't need an Olvi Grass, because it doesn't matter. Mm. Well, if you want a good time travel story... Oh, we will kill you. We will go and buy a Garot. St uh, Steins Gate's pretty solid. I like it. You lived this time. Who has... I will oh. warn you, it does get pretty dark, though. I don't have mod powers, Jello. To do... Oh, you couldn't he... fucking touch me! <laughs> That's not true! I ain't done nothing! I ain't done nothing! Uh, you couldn't man. fucking touch me! You couldn't fucking touch me! What are you? What are you two doing? I don't know why that was so funny to me. We when we played uh, Wind Warco and also Majora's Mask, I always voiced Tingle as Sweaty Goblin, and I oh always made him God. the worst. <laughs> Shock! Ah! Shock! In, in, in Majora's Mask, we were just like, Ah, the moon is my boyfriend, and in three days he's gonna <laughs> sit on everyone. <laughs> Finally! Come on, sit on me! <laughs> God, Tingle was just the worst all of the time. Okay, it is me. Oh yeah, I also voiced Takumi with Sweaty Goblin. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Wow. That's a little piece of trivia I wasn't in on. Yeah, See, it's the, the official he said Sweaty Goblin can be used for good. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I... That's a very funny way of phrasing that. I'm gonna talk to this like goblin priest. No! 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 <laughs> God, so funny, so cute. Okay. Um. Bye bye. Sushiano is correct. The only reason I voiced Takumi was because Takumi was uh, Camille in Camilla. that. Camilla. Camilla. And I was like, it was unvoicing her. And then, of course, she ran him into a random guy who was, like, in the dirt for, like, six seconds. And you never see him again. And I was like, that's fine. Look at Look at You also showed up, like, the stream you decided to peace out on. Yeah. Bad, but that's okay, because I, I gave her, like... So, I gave her like a stereotypical like sexy girl voice until I messed up a line and then I gave her a lettuce. <laughs> <laughs> gave her a lettuce? What? A, a, a lisp. A lisp. So she she just ended up talking like no. like in uwu kind of. Fuck. Oh, 
Mordecai and Leth are on the same battle again. Yeah, because uh, the way the way units move in this map, there's a lot of wrong options on who to bring. So, um... Finally, I have my friend back. Yeah, thank you, Sushiano. The, the precious fire emblem. Wait, the fire emblem? Oh, no. The fire emblem. Oh, no. The fire emblem. Hope I don't get fired or emblemed. <laughs> what was your plan for Camilla? I had no plan at all. I was just going to wing it when we got there, but... Will doesn't know that bitch. I don't know that bitch at all. All I know... The thing that sucks is that she is a very gross person. Yep. Yeah. Very unfortunate. Yeah, I'm eating bones over there again. Sorry. Baba Yama. <laughs> yeah, I am. Come on. Save some bones for the rest of us. Come on, man. Quit it up. Well, I feel like I should get some chips and be a problem, too, so I'll be right back. These are bones. Fine. Hold on. I can get some bones, too. You know? Uh -huh. uh, you know, like, oh, I'm getting bones again. Whoa. <laughs> what? Who knows? I think she yelled for you. Oh, well, what, we'll find what else out. is new? I mean, that's that's super fair. I think she was just asking where the chocolate was. She ate it all. It's her stomach. Nice salad. Nice salad. Whoa, what? Did you take my chocolate? You ate? No, you gave me the last piece last night. Oh, was that the last piece? I assume so. You're right. I did. Okay. There Yam, you did you eat my chocolate? <laughs> yeah, you gave it to me. Vice <laughs> Minister LeCaine. I take it we may begin. Champions of the Goddess, crush these heretics. Remember me from part one? I worked with Jared, do you remember? Give them the reward for rebelling against our goddess. Oh. Okay. <laughs> That's how fast you move, eh? Bust down Amy's door. You ate all we my heard. chocolate. We heard. Sick. Now I'm gonna starve. <laughs> you you handed me the last piece like out of wrapper, so it'd yeah, be very yeah, weird no. if you thought I would have put that away. No, 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 no. I couldn't. I d I forgot that I had done that, and so I'd assumed that at some point last night I gave you like the last two pieces and asked you to put it back in the cupboard. So. Now you no, go. it's like in between the movies. Yeah. Mordecai is not allowed to play. No, Mordecai. Well, well, that's what happens when you Snordecai. bring a cat into the sunlight. Become Snordecai. I pet my Alucard because I love him so and he is my baby boy. Meow, 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 meow. That was lovely. Thank you. <laughs> oh shit, right. Leanne has the ability to immediately shoot a Laguz's gauge up to full. I forgot about that. <laughs> because who in their right crazy. mind has unlocked that before? <laughs> Bye. What's... <laughs> Such devastation was not my intention, but I'll take it. <laughs> Such devastation. This, this was not my intention. <laughs> so fucking funny. We will speak of this later, Astian. I do like that we talk about Final Fantasy XIV so much that even Jello has absorbed our memes. <laughs> It's a good meme. Good meme. ARR is butts. Do not forget that we memed. <laughs> remember that remember. we memed. That remember that we memed. All right. Think of it like this. <laughs> the world was once a Reese's, Reese's peanut butter pieces cup. cup. Now it is divided into 13 Reese's pieces. 
So it's better? No, it's not better! <laughs> I don't understand. The this most makes no sense. <laughs> the most succinct explanation of the severing. The sundering. Or sundering. I was gonna say the severing is from Aram Pain. What are you talking yeah. about? Yeah. No, in Aram Pain, just one day magic went. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I die forever. Goodbye. Okay, I die forever. Bye bye. You <laughs> hear magic go. <laughs> <laughs> Mahabra is, is a meme. Yes, he is. Speaking of, how much of you are excited for him to potentially come back in that pandemonium raid tier? I want that so badly. <laughs> he might. Yeah. Give us the Mahabra redemption arc. I I still want like the last raid of Final Fantasy XIV to be <laughs> Man on Hill Ultimate. Yes, please. It, it is. The fight is the same arena, but it's set at like dusk. So it's like really intense. <laughs> the fight is exactly the same. <laughs> it You just hit him harder now. <laughs> it's the same music, everything. <laughs> What's his mechanic? Uh, he summons a couple guys eventually, but they show up way too late. <laughs> Desert maps. Mana? Oh boy, this is cool. There's so many guys. This uh, people make fun of this game. They go like. Oh, Fire Emblem 10, you mean Fire Emblem Radiant Re or Reinforcements Dawn, or just Fire Emblem Reinforcements. And whenever I think of that, I'm like, hey, be nice to this game. And then I think of this map, and I'm like, maybe don't be that nice to this game. <laughs> uh, Sign Centaur, I was talking about Phantom Dust, which is a game that I still love, but it's, it's definitely got problems, sadly. Ilyana, keep your eyes peeled. My good friend Ilyana... Oh, I'm dying in the desert. Let me shove you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you don't even have the restore staff, my bee. <laughs> you pushed me for no reason. I did. <laughs> well, well, well. Well, well, well. Nigel Uno. <laughs> I fucking love father. <laughs> Kids next door, brats. <laughs> the way he talks is so funny. Well, well, well. Fuck. Well, well, well. What have we here? Santa Claus, huh? Ooh, I'm really scared. Yes! Nice. I'm just a... <laughs> I'm just a mac and cheesy kind of boy. I explained that to Jello, I think, like, the other day. <laughs> yeah, what I didn't know... To explain? I didn't know that... I thought that was, like... So I figured that was something, like, funny you said on a stream or something. No! I didn't know you no. just said that accidentally to a real-life human you didn't know. Yeah, <laughs> I, thought, no. I thought you were there for that. Were you... Because I was at Keen's wedding, right? Yeah, I wasn't I was right Keen's next to Will the whole <laughs> time. I, I explained him. I figured he would have explained the story. Yeah, I okay, might have been sure. dancing or something. Yeah, I, I, I explained to a lot of people at the wedding, but, um... Yeah, so we went to Keen's wedding, and uh, the food was pretty darn good, and there was this, like, big thing of macaroni and cheese. And for whatever reason, like, Austin and I just got on this kick of making fun of Red Dead Redemption 2. Um, so we kept on doing the Arthur Morgan voice, because it's fun and just dumb. Uh, and at one point, uh, I, I went up to go get more food, and just out loud, not even thinking, I was just like... Oh, I'm just a mac and cheesy kind of boy. <laughs> and I looked up and there was a man I'd never seen before just looking at me and he quickly walked away. I was like, oh shit, that guy just thinks I'm a weird southerner. <laughs> What's mac and cheese? 
It was really fucking funny because I think I was like two people behind you in the line and I heard you say it, but I didn't question it, right? Yeah. This is why I love you. <laughs> you accept me for my faults. You're a mac and cheesy kind of girl. We go together. <laughs> we go together like mac and cheese. <laughs> Which one's the mac? Which one's the cheese? You're definitely... Mm. I, th I think Will's the cheese. Because Will's yeah. yellow. Mm -hmm. In my heart of hearts, Will is yellow colored. Alucard, First, why are you, you grab the bread. Then you grab the cheese. Then you grab the Pop-Tart. Then you get the cheese! Fucking good That's coffee. the mess. That's what I made. It's a mess. <laughs> Thank you for being a friend. I think I sang some variant of that during sixth course in the chat on the side. <laughs> yeah, you absolutely did. Go get him, Nolan. I believe in you, buddy. Grab a hammer and a nail and a board and a saw. It's a home. Oh my god. <laughs> you guys are fucking lucky I didn't have to pee during that car ride home. <laughs> we would have had to explain to the rental people what went wrong there. God, we were fucking lunatics the whole ride home, and Jay was just wheezing. <laughs> Jay was wheezing. Mo was like, Mo was just a mess. <laughs> Austin and I were just like, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> and then there was me sitting in the middle of all of this existing. And so you're just like, wow, this guy just proposed to me yesterday. Neat. <laughs> <laughs> someone, someone in chat, you take the moon and you take the moon and you take the moon. <laughs> <laughs> That's like uh, the bit that James and I were doing the I other night. Really, I was about to be like, what's that thing that you and James do with take on me? <laughs> when the night is night. <laughs> I never get it tired of that joke ever. Just repeating. And the, the moon is a moon. <laughs> <laughs> that, that shit is my objective favorite every time it happens. No, I me won't be the moon. Me and Jello consistently just, I don't want to be, be a bee. <laughs> I don't want to be a bee. <laughs> no, it, it was, that was a different type of joke because that's the one, that's like the one where you set up the obvious punchline over and over and you it's the same punchline, but you try and figure out different ways to set up where it's just like, Hey man, uh, I've got 26 letters here. Do you have any preferences? I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep... Listen, I know you're allergic to them, but your garden could really use some pollinators. <laughs> I don't want to be. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking love that shit. It's so dumb. <laughs> It was it was so funny because like James and I were just doing that because it was just us playing Final Fantasy and we just started that bit and then Yam showed up and we're both like well we have to we have to share this <laughs> just like without saying anything when the night is night and the moon is a moon. <laughs> Man. It, it there is an extra layer of hilarity to it when both of you are doing it and it's, it's like a very seamless back and forth. <laughs> oh my god. God. Okay, that's fine then. Oh man. And the moon is a moon. <laughs> and the moon is a moon. And, and the night. <laughs> yeah, that was the alert. And the moon is the moon. At night. <laughs> oh, objectively not funny, and here I am. I mean, it's it's the same kind of energy as like 
when the Da Vinci came out and we were all just like throwing our hats in for like, oh my God, God, I really just thought you're going, I mean, it's the same kind of energy as when the night. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, yeah, it is, man. <laughs> That's dead ass the same energy. You got it. I'm sorry, wait. Somebody just says, my friend Sam still loses it over the icy skies of blue, but everything is red roses. <laughs> <laughs> Let me go find that. That sounds funny. Icy skies of blue. Red roses too. Red roses too. <laughs> For me and you. This is only for your tattoo. And I think oh. to myself, <laughs> the moon is a moon. <laughs> yes, I think to myself, the moon is a moon. <laughs> <laughs> da Vinci? What's the name of that famous uh, piece of art? It's like a statue where the guy's kind of like angled down. Da Vinci? <laughs> Uh-oh. What, what is that? What is that ah. bowl that steals oh, my no. water? Da Vinci? Damn it, I forgot they were, they're usually not there. I forgot I put Jill down there. <laughs> the Sinky was the best one. Sinky? Da Vinci? Oh, oh man. Uh, do, do you have a pacifier? Da Binky? <laughs> my, um, my buddy ended up, uh, getting arrested for selling some drugs, and now he spent some time in Da Clinky? <laughs> okay, it's just pretty funny. Hold on. What weapon did we give Toronio? The stinky. <laughs> <laughs> well, if that weapon gets upgraded again, the stinky. With the power of the stinky. When the stink <laughs> is stink, and the stunk has stunk. Jesus Christ. Sorry to have you choke on your orange there, fish with legs. What? Oh, that's... I thought you were just saying that. just any words. <laughs> I don't do that all of the time. When the night is night and the moon is a moon. Man, the way you do end the moon is a moon really kills me. It's extremely <laughs> funny. Yeah, you're a piece of shit. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bye. <laughs> well, this is gonna be interesting now. I'm gonna get a little snack. A little snack. I don't know. Little kind of something, something. You know, I won't lie. I was kind of hoping level 40 Leanne might be able to take a hit. No. No. Absolutely not. You know what? Nah, I gotta get you gotta get moving. Micaiah's got a mission on this map. Please rescue her. Thank you. Is is Leanne still okay there? No. Her boyfriend's got her. Alright. I was gonna put Sigrin there, I forgot she was occupied. And the moon! <laughs> it's our moon! At night! Something in a similar-ish vein to that, one of my all-time favorites is, um... F 
fucking... All the cum things. No, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> it's so good, though. Nice work, idiot. And the moon. I'm Nolan. Set up, but okay. Oh, I'm just so powerful. Are we destined to perish here? It's on Sigrun's. Hello, back. my maiden. Is Will here? No. Hold on a little longer. I am here. Tiny Layton. And the moon. Is a moon. All star, but every word is somebody. Oh, there is that one version of that song that's like. I said no. Yeah. I said no. The entire chat is just, and the moon is the moon. <laughs> yeah. this map theme. Yeah, Jill, I think I think I'm just gonna send you out on a mission and you're just gonna you're just gonna deal with everybody down left. Ah, get the heck out of here, I'm sick of your shit. Oh, you don't have a lot of distance weapons though. That's gonna make this harder. Okay. Wow, you know, for a for a Draco Lord, Jill has like no HP. Hello. Mm -hmm. All right, the Black Knight is here. Oh. oh. Who could that be? Oh. Well, he sounded a little different this time, so we're not sure. <laughs> Black Knight appears when the night is a night. <laughs> and the moon is a moon. God, I fucking love Mordecai. You know why Mordecai is great? Get the fuck out of here. Wow, he can push him too? He's got smite. Yeah, big. It's a special ability. So is uh, Black Knight our guy, or...? He's neutral. Oh, he's just hanging out. He's just hanging out. He's just hanging. And he's like, he's on our side, but uh, we can't control him or command him or anything. He just does his own thing. Mm. Really? That Draco yeah. Knight can't hit Makaya, or...? Huh, okay. Uh-oh, Mordecai. We'll see what happens. We just took no damage from that guy. Yeah, but if he untransforms, he's gonna be in a bad spot. Yeah, that's true. Get the hell out Jesus. of here. No, Jill. Hell yeah. Ho-ho. <laughs> When the G is us. Gotta tell you, <laughs> Nullify on a Pegasus Knight really puts in its work. Oh, thank you, BK. 
I actually like to push him out of the way as fast as I can, because I just, there's, there's other shit. Like, I don't want him to eat up all my experience. There are other places I wish he was on this map, and it's not where he is. When the night is moon. And the moon is night. And the moon. That is a Marvel <laughs> character. To make so much Lean on me. I, I get what you're going for, though. The moon is a moon is a moon. It's a moon. When the moon is a moon and a moon is a moon, that's a moon. <laughs> My eyes start spiraling. <laughs> when an eel lunges out and takes a bite of your snout, that's a more. Get it? A more eel. Gotta make use of that bullshit. Bum, 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 bum. How am I going to deal with that little army of archers? We'll figure something out. Jill can get one of them. Go get them. Give a little bop. Give a little bop. Give a little bop to that guy right there. All right, but there's still, a, still quite a bit. Still, well, I um, guess my two danger boys are not in danger, so should be okay. Uh, Seriously, you are just the worst. Well, if she dies, she dies. <laughs> oh, no. Can you believe I'm like 10 levels higher than some of the Dawn Brigade people right now? <laughs> when the oof is oof. oof. Gotta love those tier Jesus. three skills. Yeah. Oh, don't forget to, you have to pick up the man this chapter. I'm going. Makaya's right the here. Man. Yeah, the man. Are they handsome? Oh, though I also have uh, I also have Leth and Mordecai here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, hmm. Might as well make Leth do it again. Reinforcements. I suppose, I, though, I think it's a little more plotty if you, you give it to Micaiah. Reinforcements. I suppose I must turn back for my own safety. It is vital that I not be harmed for the good of the world to come. While it pains me to leave the field of battle, I mustn't put myself at risk. Ooh. Wait, what? Wow. Come back! Shit! Yeah. Fucking, uh... Oof. Magic, man. God, Mordecai's a fucking brick. He's a brick. Brick. <laughs> when you got a brick, he's still a brick. He's nice to nice to Ed. Did I mention he's a brick? Cause he's a brick. Ba -na 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 moon. Mom. He's bricky bricky. He's letting it all brick out. Cause he's a brick. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> um. Good job, Masala. His friend. 
Man, I am just really Raven racist. <laughs> I cannot tell them apart. That's so racist. Yo, you guys hear about that hip new show? I wouldn't call it hip, but it's making the rounds. Oh man, I think he's sitting right on it. That's really annoying. Oh. All right, fine. Yeah, we'll see. You should be able to make that. One of my favorite exchanges in the game here. I knew it. I knew that even if the end of the world came, you'd be the last one left standing. Your faith is touching. <laughs> well, you and the commander. Commander Ike will defeat you, you know. You can't run forever. You are correct. We will soon meet again. Shouldn't you sound more worried about that? You sound as if you're looking forward to fighting Commander Ike again. Don't delude yourself. You can't beat him. We shall see. Just the fucking, um, your faith is touching. <laughs> yeah. That's a good line. Nice work, by the way, Soth. Fucking pin cushion. Oof. Ooh. Yeah, I'm just gonna say, let's get this guy out of here. Mm -hmm. I, all right, I, I came to help, but... <laughs> you know, I'd like to remain neutral, but if everyone keeps pushing me around... <laughs> stop it. Stop it! Stop it, Ron! You can't kill Soth! You can't kill Sote! I'm still ridden. <laughs> your f someone in chat, your faith is touching. <gasps> Where? It's <laughs> cute. Jesus Christ, Darren. I'm uh, here for blood. Jesus. Mm -hmm. oh, yeah. I like it. We're in the desert right now, so the blood cools me off. <laughs> I do not need that, thanks to my internal cooling system. <laughs> A bunch of steam just shoots out from the joints of his armor. Ah, bunch of Bunch of steam shoots out from the joints of his armor. Ah! What? Ah! <laughs> what? Master, what is, what that? is this? That's scary. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. That's scary. I am Duke Numida. <laughs> That's what I sound like. Alright, whatever. Drink y'all juice, Marcy. Um, yeah, it's fine. Holy shit. Hey. Alright, that was like, it was not zero damage. Well, it still didn't kill him. I don't understand. Why would they fight against the vice minister chosen of Asherah? Are they somehow deficient? You will perish for your defiance of the Empire, vermin! Kind of surprised he purged me there, actually. Look at you. Look at you. And look at all of us. What the fuck was that? Did you just try to silence me? I will not be silenced. Ah! 
<laughs> Start screaming. <laughs> what is that? Oh my god, it's the apostle alarm! <laughs> the naked alarm! Is she crying? <laughs> This is how we win war, yes? Ah! I'm I have heard of the battle cry. Ah! Alright, guys. Cats, 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 cats. Yeah, cat! Every kitty. <laughs> Thank you, I thought that was funny. It might be the space. No. Maybe I think you're standing on it. Well, we're gonna we're gonna pack our boys in close. We'll see who gets it. I don't remember the space. I believe it's one of these three. I am fairly familiar with this map from doing it a hundred million times. Hi, oh, there, there he is. is. Okay. <laughs> hey, Will, this was you. <laughs> oh my, what did it even sound like? How, it was kind of like my Kieran. He was just like, hey, I'm just here fucking around. Hello, how can I help? What? Who? You and I were born under the same fate. Same fate? Do you also carry the mark? Indeed. I don't know who you are or fight. Who? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who you are, why? fighting or why. <laughs> but attacking my kin in the desert is the same as attacking me. I will not let them leave this place alive. My friend, may I ask your name? When you ask someone's name, isn't it proper to give your name first? Oh, sorry, I'm Micaiah. And I'm Stefan. Well met. Let's go. Someone in chat, I really like Stefan. I wish he was in this game. <laughs> That's... Yeah? That's that's an that's accurate. Yeah. <clears throat> Stefan has one of the best conversation like best base conversations in the whole series. He gets one with Yune and it's fucking excellent. Yep. That's the one I was thinking of, yeah. So you're a god and stuff. Neat. Sephiroth. <laughs> Sephiroth. <laughs> Here, you can go this way, and you and you two can clean up this infinite wall of reinforcements from the south. Bit of a pain. Does he have a good sword to steal once again? Yeah, he should have the big kati again. Yeah, he does. Where is this fucking thing? Stefan is branded. Yes, he is. Yeah, can you look up the desert map? There's one, like, here somewhere. This is the one I always forget. It's... Oh, it's a, is it a pickup item? Yeah, it's... It's the best... Yeah. It's the best knife in the game. It's the Basilard. Okay. Ha, oh, okay. I give you the Basilard. Why does Sonaki have an elixir? She is a little baby. It's my juice. It's my juice. Zip. Give it back. No. You can have a little packet. No. I am okay, so that, that rock formation right there, you know how it kind of looks like a pointing... This? Yeah, okay. Yeah, so from there, one, two, three, four squares, and then one up. So, yeah, above Ileana and next to Nesala on the left. Got it. Me want juice. Why did you some. take my cup away? <laughs> me I want juice. Thinking. Me want ride a train caboose. <laughs> I am 12. Uh, she's 13. <laughs> Thank you very much. Stop Wait, it. Wrong. <clears throat> you will not be silenced. 
Ah, I more friends baby. for Stefan to hang out with. Is what I'd like to say, but this is a desert map. Would have been nice of them to give him some, like, desert ignoring ability or something. It would make sense. He fucking lives here. I live in the desert. It nearly kills me every day. I don't I'm know about I this one, around. fellas. I only stick around because it's the only challenge I've had in years. <laughs> this kills the Stefan. <laughs> I'm dying. We'll see what happens. Okay. Um. So. To the left of Nasala, yeah, that one. Yep, oh. that's that's south, baby. Never good. He's got to dig a little bit <laughs> before he finds it. I swear I'm useful. No. Uh -huh. I'm the worst. I will end up in a hearse. <laughs> this is my curse. I am cursed. Uh, someone appreciating the um, take care, kind yet stupid nerds. <laughs> oh my god. I I was. I could, I, I could fucking believe it was in that game of all places. <laughs> Meow 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 Me want deep fried Me think water kitty nice Really you can't kill him I guess in fairness Neoluchi did kind of get shelved for a while so what are you gonna do? Why you do this to Grandpa? Oh, you guys can talk? Aww! Stefan, what are you doing here? That's what I was about to ask you. I came to see what all the noise in my desert was about. Ah, so you did not get turned to stone. That is very good. Stone? What are you talking about? I suppose you have to fill me in later. Let's fight off the enemy together. Good. Mordecai is happy to fight with Stefan again. And I as well, Mordecai. Mordecai is the, the most unproblematic fave. <clears throat> also, I love that Stefan has no idea what's going on. He wouldn't, would he? He wouldn't, yeah. I was I was just thinking that. That's that's nice. The fuck are you talking about? Yep. We mentioned this earlier, and they'll they'll address it again soon. But none of the branded were affected by the stoning. <laughs> Not this type of stoning, anyway. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Oof. Ha ha. Frowns. Well, I mean, uh, Left could probably talk to him too. Yeah. Can you two talk? No. I'll just leave Stefan there. He doesn't do anything. Dun dun. Dun, 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 dun. Well, hey there, friend. That's a very interesting choice, attacking... I was gonna call him Neolucci. I don't know what's wrong with me. Oh, excuse me. Just like... I will wait right here. Thank you. 
Thank you. Very patiently. Thank you. Thank you. I'm about to class up Muriel. Should I make her a sage or a dark knight? I say dark knight. Movement is good. And life taker is pretty juicy. Here we go. I remember you! Pleasure to see you again, noble dame of Gallia. It's Lath. I see that you were spared from petrification. <clears throat> I'm glad. Petrification? I'd like to hear more about that, but there seems to be some sort of battle on. We only seem to run into each other when I'm fighting for my life. Sorry, I don't have the time to catch up. Ah, well, that's easy. I've joined the battle, so we can talk properly later. How does that sound? He certainly hasn't changed. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see Leth have like a pleasant interaction with another person. I am learning to smile. Yeah. Yeah. Let's in this game. What? Oh yeah, for sure. Let's kill Zod in this game. It should be funny if I just murked him. Kill him! Do it! I I can't put him here because there's crossbow guys, but um. No. I'll uh, I'll have him waltz in next turn. It'll be funny. Okay. Okay. It just got stuck in my head, man. I got no answers. Is it possible to let the Black Knight just destroy everybody? Yeah, but he's a knight, so it'll take you four hours. And also he'll eat all your EXP. Which you don't want, since this is the Dawn Baby squad. They, uh, they need what they can get. There is one more item I would like to pick up on this map. <clears throat> oh, which one? Do you know where it is? Yeah, I know it. Okay. It's a very convenient marker for this one. Gotta say, it's very nice to have a good leth. Very not used to it. I am very assumed leth. Oh, did you did you pick up the dragon foe? I didn't. Yeah, I got notice. it. Okay. Real fun to give that one to Kurth. <laughs> I mean, they can't fight back, so. From like a sheer ruthless tactics angle, it's the best choice. You can stay back there, Stefan. What a fearsome beast! Only the Dark God could create such a monstrosity! What's wrong, little Bjork? Frightened? If you cannot look upon me, you cannot hope to defeat me. Newman actually has some fun dialogue with most of the Dawn Brigade. Ooh. Bum, 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 bum. You've done it, Jill. You've leveled up. Power, it's mine. Now the trick here is... Burrito. Is Skamir good? Reinforcements really He's... don't fucking stop, huh? No, they don't. And the real problem is, if in like two or three turns, dragons start reinforcing from up here. And it's like, come Why? on, dude. Dude, my guy, can you not? Come on, dude. Come on, my dude. You are being so rude. At this moment, <laughs> I am being so... <laughs> <laughs> Leth, Mordecai wanted to remind you. You are my friend. Aww. Aww. <laughs> Thanks, okay. Mordecai. Okay. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> Just kind of bumbles away. 
not a good guy. He's just a good guy. Pretty sure these two can talk, but I don't want him to kill him. Do you have like a ranged wind attack or something? Not in this game. Oh. oh. Left too strong. How about you, Skamir? Perfect. How much, uh, 14, that's enough. You're a lion. Here I come. <laughs> Little cat. I will wear him as a hat. Oh, no. Still alive. Just, like, put him on your head. Oh. On my head he shall sat. <laughs> I thought you were going somewhere else, actually. So. No. I'm not always crass. Look. Marissa voice. Look. Look. Nolan is here. Nolan oh, is here. Wanted, edgy boy wanted to confirm because uh, you stopped in the middle of the answer. Is Scrimmier good? He's fine. Um, there you go. I wouldn't use him because you you meet like you get him for two maps and then you're immediately awarded with objectively better Scrimmiers, two of them. So, like your call. Um, oh boy, strength. Oh boy, it's me, Sadaki. <laughs> Got some people. Why are you doing this to me? No! I'm turning you into an anime! I like that Black Knight showed up and was just like, this is nice. Yeah, I'm uh oh. I purposefully ran there as fast as I could because it, like he will just eat that entire little army of dudes if you don't stop him. <laughs> Enjoy your levels, Marcia. This is these are the last ones you're gonna get. So sad. I really like Marcia, but Hey, fuck that guy. Hey, fuck are you, buddy. Dun -dun 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 -dun. Ah, damn it. I was hoping I could proc him out of using purge so I could steal it, but not a big deal. Hey, Colossus. Oh, hello. Very rare I see that ability. I do not like the Reaver class tree. Oh. In case you forgot, I am still here. I wanted to prove that I didn't just show up to watch. I do things too sometimes. I not do often. some things. I'd, I'd say I'm a bit of a thing doer. I dabble. I dooble. <laughs> Skidaddle, no like, who are you? Your dick is now a noodle. <laughs> Your dick is That's now weird. a noodle. Gooner, gooner, now, son. Have you seen my... Now, <laughs> now you understand the danger of warp powder. What? What? Yes. <laughs> Fucking turns, tragic, dude. Turns your dick into a noodle. Seferin was quite disappointed. You know Seferin? No, shit. <laughs> it looks like rigatoni. Oh. God. Yeah. Yes, it's very unfortunate. Don't do it. Bro, bro, go to the fucking doctor. Dick noodle, not even. No once. wonder Lacane's so mad. <laughs> Man, Astrid really, really dodging bullets left and right. Yep. Y'all thought I had it bad. Nah. I can still fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately for many. You want some fuck? Becky! Becky! Becky, want some fuck? <laughs> Come on, that Becky! That so bad! Becky! Smash. 
Me want smash. Me want eat that panky ass. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Horrible. Time out. Time out. Hold on. Why? No. What are you a prude? <laughs> I'm the one eating ass here. What are you an an assless prude? <laughs> Now, if you don't mind, I'm gonna go spelunking. Shut no! <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right, this should. How, How much... am I the one in the wrong, huh? Help! Seven. South can't do dick, right? Guy can't even use it. Fourteen. Seven. Fourteen. Twenty-one. Oh uh, man. Mm. I can only do two of them. Dang. South has some good lines, too. It's a bummer. Well, we'll see what happens. No one escapes from their past, Numita. Numita? Sure. Sure. Today is that day for you. Silence, Kurt! Oh, that's it? All right. Ow, fuck. Yeah. You shot me with a crossbow, dude. Yeah, I, had, I found it earlier. It's pretty cool, right? Ow. Fool, do you honestly believe that your dark god can triumph in the face of Asherah's divine majesty? She's not my dark god. To be honest, I don't care about the gods. They have nothing to do with me. What? Then who do you fight for? I fight for my family, and I fight against tyranny. That is enough. Ow, uh, there's a knife in me now. Sure is. Ow, uh... You... Who are you, girl? You don't know her? <laughs> what? Wow, really? Damn. <laughs> Duke Numida, I will never forget your oppression of the day and people or your cowardly flight from justice. Again, who? <laughs> All right, I'm him. Ah, you're from Dayan. You should know that I had nothing to do with that unpleasantness. That was all General Jared's doing. General Jared was a scoundrel and a fiend, but at least he had a soldier's honesty in his villainy. You black-hearted senators nauseate me, weaving a dense tapestry of lies that you yourselves believe. Hey, what's up, man? Ah, Duke Numida. Unbelievable that a coward like you is changed back from stone. Particularly surprising, given some of your more impious transgressions. I I have no idea what you're talking about. I am a senator in good standing. My country produces excellent spies, your grace. I know every atrocity you committed while in Dayan. I actually hold quite a bit of incriminating evidence that would destroy you if it became public. It's a pity that all that work will be wasted, though, since this is the last day of your life. <laughs> what? What's happening? Vice Minister, I lost the battle. That's a raw line from Nasala, by the way. Yeah, right. <laughs> Nasala is so fucking good. I love him. That smug look like, yeah, I leveled up. Surprisingly articulate for us having so much blood in his lungs. <laughs> Me want bite. Nom, you can have bite, buddy. Thank you. Mordecai. You gotta get your ass out of Scrimmier's face. It's a cat thing. Yeah, yeah this guy gets it! Siv mm. <laughs> <So> miserable. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> you enjoy my misery, huh? Uh, I get a smile. Wow! <laughs> You're prettier Don't when you Don't make me say the line. <laughs> You're prettier when you smile. Oh, <laughs> no. no. Even yeah. I don't do that low. I know, I know the level. Gross. Unfortunate amount of brave axe to have left. Well, this will be interesting. Shade always so procs. Oh, God damn it, still? Seriously? 
Ugh. All right. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Ashner, you're not even here. Mm. Yeah, oh, that's right. I'm with Tarania right now. You are Tarania right now. Oh, yeah. What can I do now? I guess anything. Anything an old man can do. What the fuck does that Where's my wife? <laughs> I'm not that old. I'm a little spring chicken. Where was Numida? Do we remember? Uh, <laughs> hang on, I can, I can bring up the... I think it's five uh, from bottom. If, yeah, just let me know. I think it's, I think it's here because they're three, fighting four, him. Uh, it's, it's six and then, uh, like three up. Okay, so, so Mordecai's standing one, on it. Two, three. Yeah, Mordecai's standing on it. Okay. Oh, all right. Huh, impressive. You must be my. <laughs> Good work. You've done it. Kachow. Kachowdle, ka <laughs> Nice, wow. All right. It's the whole level kitten up. caboodle. No, he's a raven. Oh! <laughs> look at you! And look at this! <laughs> look at you! And look at all that! <laughs> what the fuck is happening? If Blind Manor was instead a bunch of clowns. I'm Jalo from from King's Quest Six. <laughs> wow. Hell yeah! Oh, you know. Oh, you know this worm. <laughs> Dini. Okay, here we go. Okay. 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 Ah, oh, you don't have a distance weapon. Ah, oh, god damn it. All right, it's fine. We're almost there. Great. You really want to finish it on this turn, just in case the fucking Draco Knights reinforce. No, you still have that priest there. I know, I see him. Aaron should be able to kill him, and if not, then I might be able to do it with Marcy. Yeah. <laughs> What's a Laguz gem? Yes. It's a Laguz stone that once you use it, it keeps them transformed for a whole map. Oh. Very good. Yeah, it's probably the best I single item in the game. It sells for like 300,000 gold. <laughs> what? Yeah, but like, don't sell it. <laughs> yeah, but don't they sell don't it. Call the end maps. <laughs> Impressive. Hooray! We did it. Let's get the fuck out of here. Sir Knight, how good to see you. You always saved me from danger. Maiden, I have a favor to ask of you. Will you come with me? My master awaits you at the Tower of Guidance. The Tower of Guidance? If I may ask, who is your master? You will see when we get there. Please take my hand. We will be there in the blink of an eye. <laughs> Who is your master? His name is Ronulf. We have been playing a long game. Oh. I can't. I can't leave everyone behind. We have to get to the tower together. Your allies will turn to stone when the light of judgment next shines. I do not wish to see you. I do not wish for you to see it. The light will strike again? When? Please tell me. Maiden, I will come for you again. Make up your mind by then. Wait. Don't tell me. He's gone again, right? I knew we couldn't count on him. Oops. Um, Soph? McCain got away, didn't he? Yes, he did. But we'll have another chance. I'm sure of it. I know he's going to attack us again. Don't know if that's good news or bad. I know. We'll have to be ready. I will come for you again, maiden. Doesn't. <laughs> yeah. 
Sigrun, Tanif, I need to talk to both of you. Oh, I, I know, we're this. not useful, but please don't fire us. I forgot about this scene, actually. This is a really good sequence. Empress, why so serious? Whatever it is, you can be sure that Sigrid and I will help you through it. Tanith, let her speak. When the last apostle was assassinated and I was not yet born, Benyon went along with went a long time without central authority. The people were frightened, both of the murder and the power power vacuum. Without the goddess's voice, Benyon was lost. Zephyrin once told me that when the Senate confirmed my appointment as the next apostle, it was as if a sigh of relief sounded across the country. It's true. I still remember your coronation. The first time I ever saw you, Empress Sonaki. With your tiny hand in Seferin's, you stumbled as you walked. A little girl, barely visible in the grand hallway of the cathedral. It was a moving sight. I remember as well. The Empress stepped on her cape and tripped a total of five times. Tana, that hardly seems appropriate. I think the country's sigh of relief was unwarranted. I cannot hear the goddess's voice. I never could. This has perplexed me for years. First, I thought my youth was to blame, but this excuse grows thinner each year. There is no clear age at which previous apostles heard the goddess for the first time, but all of them had heard by now. Empress, if this is about what Duke Gatto said... If I am not the true apostle, have I betrayed my people, even unknowingly? You, are two, you two are my most trusted friends. How would you feel about me if I were not the Apostle? Be honest with me. You would like an honest answer? Very well. It would change nothing. Hmm? <laughs> if you thought that our allegiance was to the office of the Apostle, well, you were wrong. Even from a young age, you have been working with Lord Seferin to fight the Senate on the behalf of the people. Our loyalty lies with you, Empress Sanaki. You will always be our Empress. Please do not forget that. I am... blessed. Not by the voice of the goddess, but by loyalty like yours. Be strong, Empress Sonaki. Even if you are not an apostle, you are still the one true empress of Benyon. Yeah. <laughs> so Someone can we keep our jobs. Someone in chat. Oh, I am the Senate. <laughs> Meanwhile, Ike. Oh boy. You, you, I don't think you'll be able to guess what the next map is. <laughs> is it a bridge? Can, can you imagine my rage? People are saying bridge. This, uh, there's like a, there's a song in this soundtrack called Unease and something about like one of these cutscenes really used to freak me out as a kid. Mm. This is great. I can't remember the last time we got to sleep indoors. We can be thankful for rain, I guess. Yeah, the decorations are a little overdone, but the beds will be warm and dry. I'm glad I remembered this mansion was here. Presumably, we're the first people to set foot in here since Oliver was posthumously found guilty of trading in Heron slaves. I understand the Senate confiscated his lands and property immediately after the Mad King's War ended. Well, someone must be living here. The place is spotless. By law, there shouldn't be anyone here. I wonder if someone is squatting. Is something wrong, Raphael? I feel that we are being watched. I sense no malice, but there is definitely some sort of presence. Perhaps the master of the house. Hmm. I bet we'll find out soon. That always freaked me out. Ghost. <laughs> very, Ghost. Watching them. very last story to have a, uh, oh boy. Ghost house. Oh, this <laughs> There's just a vampire like four chapters before the ending. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> hello? What can I do for you? Hey, that's an elixir. Yes, I like them too. Oh, delightful. <laughs> 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 
Sorry, I didn't mean to leave you out of the conversation. No, that's fine. I would have been confused either way. I didn't know you could speak the ancient language. It's Hatari's common language. I would never have known about the Tellius language if I hadn't met Raphael. The Tellius language? You don't know? The language we are using right now is called the Tellius language. You call it modern speech, I suppose. Oh, I see. Long ago, Bjork created the old tongue. The ancient speech is what we Lagoos call it. The language was too difficult for the Lagoos to master, so the language of Tellius was created in its place. Huh. I've never heard that before. The only people I'm aware of... I've had a pretzel in my mouth this whole scene. <laughs> <laughs> the only people I'm aware of who know the ancient speech are the Heron Lagoos. I think Nasir of Gordoa said he could read it. Among Bjork, only mages know how to use it, and that's only for spells. Well, the Lagoos who live a long time, such as dragons and herons, have all the time in the world to learn it. Bjork probably left- Ah, yes! Such long-lived animals! Dragons and herons! <laughs> Bjork, mm -hmm. Bjork probably left the ancient speech behind in favor of a newer and improved language, with the exception of spells. That makes sense, I suppose. Mordecai once told me that speech lets you avoid fighting when it's not a good idea. He said that's why it's a good idea to know many languages. It's kind of a nice random Mordecai mention. <laughs> did he now? Voluk, did you hear that? You can learn the language of Tellius with Mordecai. I will... I will try... He understands what you're saying, for the most part. It's the speaking that's the hard part for him. You don't need to feel obligated. I mean, it isn't like I can understand ancient speech. Um, here. Take. Oh, I understand. Thanks. I think I understood that. You were happy that I understood what you just said. <laughs> it's totally, he's totally wrong, by the way. Something like that. Good. As long as you have the desire to learn, words will soon follow. I see. I'll try to learn a little ancient speech from now on, too, Voluk. Oh, Voluk, you be my teacher and I'll be your teacher. <laughs> so, uh, who do you... There are there are four characters who show up on the next map. Who do, who do you guys think they are? <laughs> Oh, oh my god, really? Maybe. Yeah. Are we going to show them? We'll, we'll see. Yeah, no, I'll start the next map, but we aren't, we aren't going to play it. <laughs> Comment in chat. Ashnard, 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 and Ashnard. Yeah. Ashnard. Ooh. God, if only. Mm, hi. Are you simping Hi. for the Mad King, Ashnard? Are, are you simping for Ashnard, King of Dayan? <laughs> <laughs> I'm evil! God. <laughs> that one gets me every time. I'm evil! That's <laughs> such a dumb... Oh, man. Oh, you, you could... should see the other guy. <laughs> Fucking lunatic. <laughs> what? Alright, what? Ah! Hey, what is the chance we have another restore staff? What's the chance I can buy a restore staff? Thank God! Hell yeah! I usually Super forget, combo. actually. Hell yeah. And then I have to sit there and suffer like a clown. Hmm. Chess keys, this map is long enough. Heather can get wherever she needs to go. Mm, you're probably good for one more map. I'm a little baby, short and stout. I've got a bow. You should watch out. What? You were on roll for half a second. I know, but... All right. Should be good enough. Oh, let me, let me check really quick if there's... There's a handful of abilities that I would prefer to uh, chuck on other people. No, it doesn't look like any of them are here. Great. I should just be able to assign them. Yeah, Beast Foe and Dragon Foe. Those are the two I wanted. Okay, great. The Disciples of Order are here. They just appeared in the outer building. All right, let's get everyone mobilized. General, come quickly. Our friends are in trouble. Friends? Yes, we have those. 
Maybe you do. Oh, you oh, know. Boy. Yeah, them. I believe you were Tormod. I was Moarim, and I don't remember who Vika was. Hey. Was hey, isn't that... It's Tormod. We haven't seen him since the Mad King's War. Extinguish them. <laughs> Funny you should phrase it that way. You soon to be Cinder. Like from Ruby? Ah. <laughs> nah, that bitch suck. What the? That should have worked better. Oh no, I didn't level. Tormod, did you not level? You dumb no. bitch. I didn't know. Tor they would be dead. <laughs> Tormod, your backup's here. Just hold your position. Much appreciated. Don't worry. We're not going anywhere. Wait a second. Ike? What happened to you, Musclehead? It's definitely uh, Sir Ike. But Bjork growth always amazes me. It's like looking at a different person. Between him and Soth, I'm starting to feel a little inadequate. Well, that settles it. I've still got a lot of growing to do, so I've got to survive. I can't die like this. All right. Let's help these guys out. They need it. Get ready for battle. <laughs> So, I'm gonna I'm gonna start the first turn because there's one more half cut scene. Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's fine. Yeah, that'll work. Am I stupid? Well, give me two seconds. I'm gonna try ending the turn and see if that works. Yep, there we go. There it is. Oliver, Duke of Tannis, have a care. The last time you faced these enemies, you were defeated, humiliated, and your heron slave trade was exposed. By the good graces of your fellow senators, you were saved from death and hidden away here. As the last time they fought you, it was but a ghost produced by warp powder. Behind the backs of the Apostle and the Prime Minister, we have kept you safe. Do not fail us. I understand, Senator Hatsu. Rest assured, the savages who dare set foot in my home a second time will be eradicated for the glory of the goddess. Ugly creatures deserve nothing but an ugly death. You will not regret the lovely mercy you've shown me. God, I love Wills Oliver. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, oh, good to be back. I super thought he died. <laughs> he did. Don't ask questions. Good try, uh -oh. Tormod. Don't worry. I'm not. This no, is not my. I, I fucked up. Oh my goddamn legs. Oh Jesus Christ. We did uh, it. Oh, that's really sad. Oh yeah, no, it's really sad, which makes it even mean. So they are. Oh boy. You fucked up, sir. <laughs> I'm stronger now. Yup. No! <laughs> no! I need you guys to, like, I, this is just me showing off that end cutscene before we wrap, but like... Okay. I, please understand how bad these units are. Uh, well, yeah, they got hit once and died. Damn. Warim is okay. God, that's so funny. Even he can't last that long. The fact that, the, like, you know what it probably is? I feel like the localizers were like, look, we're done fixing Japanese Radiant Dawn. I don't want to go into the game and change their level to make them real characters. Ike, what the hell? You said you'd back us up. <laughs> All right. Huh? No, we got a closed stream, buddy. <laughs> yep. Sorry. See you next week. My little one is dead. All right. See you, everybody. Let's let's raid sappiness. What are you talking about? <laughs> I am crying. Ooh. Ooh. Pelius can do a bois. He's just been doing it differently. <laughs> what was 
not a mosquito in Animal you... Crossing? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a little, it's a little poot. When the poot.